Yo, yo, yo. What's good, man? Welcome back to another live stream. How y'all feeling, man? How y'all feeling? Marvelous. Mm-hmm. Sensational. Yeah. Sensational. Oh, let me change this layout. What the fuck? All right, that's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. Yo, everybody, what's up, everybody in the chat? So I just dropped the link in the chat. Um, if y'all want to join in, you know, say a little one, two piece. You know, I'm about to put it in the description real quick, right now. <laughs> But damn, man, shit is crazy, man. You know, we here to celebrate. You know, I've seen a lot of people doing the live streams. You know, a lot of people emotional as, you know, rightfully so. But I don't know. I feel like we should take this moment to celebrate, you know, this this man's legacy, like what he accomplished in the short amount of time he was, you know, on this platform and, you know, what he did community ultimately. Um, what would y'all say y'all most memorable, I guess, moment, Kevin Samuels moment is? We we get into the most memorable already. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, well, first let's let's say rest in peace. You know what I mean, I want to take a I want to take a shot for the Godfather. Bro, I knew you was gonna do. Some you, shit got, like you got you got you got to take a drink for the Godfather. Man. Yeah, if it ain't nigga, if it ain't wine or some sophisticated shit, some champagne or something. I got you know what I, mean? I got the honey jack tonight. You, know? uh, you take a shot for us, man. For the luxury of spirits. Yeah, yeah, nigga, slacking, man. I ain't taking no shots for y'all. Yo, this is, you this taking is, it for the Godfather, like you know what I'm saying, like yo. Yeah, for the Godfather. He would want, he would want you to take them extra shots, like you know what I mean. Plus, you only got iced tea and that shit anyway. You're trying to get you like. <laughs> <that's just nice. laughs> nigga, my name, my name ain't Eli. Come on, nigga. Man. That's and it was no seal on that shit either, nigga. Fuck out here. That was no what? It was no seal on that shit. My name ain't Eli. Yeah, right. Pretending yeah. he got liquor in his cup and shit. Yeah. But um, yeah. my my most memorable moment. From Kevin Samuels, you know, a lot of people think that he only used to come at at women, but it had this this episode or this live where this dude called in and this nigga ain't had no job. No, he had a job making minimum wage. Nigga said, nigga said, how, how, nigga said, how big is your job? Sit? <laughs> nigga said, nigga said, he said, is it big? The nigga said, I don't know. He said, you would know if it's big. <laughs> <laughs> like, he says, you coming with minimum wage, a little dick, and the girl's supposed to take that and be happy? He's like, get off my line. Yo. That, was, that might be one of my favorites. I ain't gonna lie, man. Because... Yeah, that's, def- that's definitely a good one. Yo, people don't be, be sweeping out under the rug, man. Like, yo, yo yeah, he, man. before he was, you know, what y'all knew him for, he was always coming at the fellas. Like, you know what I mean? I, I used to see some shit where he used to be violating, like, you know what I mean? And it wasn't yeah. violated, it was just shit that they needed to hear, honestly, like, you know what I mean? So That's what I'm saying, yo. I think that's what you and Kevin Samuels got a lot in common. Like, y'all, 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 y'all say it straight up and it's misconstrued. It comes off as harsh because y'all just being straightforward with it. You feel me? So I, I think that's what y'all got it in, in common a little bit. Who, me and me and Kevin Samuels? Or you and Kevin Samuels? You, you, nigga. You. Yo, Juby, yo, stop it. Yo, stop trying to make it seem I, like you be honest too. Like, you know what I mean? There's a reason why the women hate you, bro. Like, <laughs> Hey, yo, they they actually love me, man. I ain't gonna hold you. Like, yo. They love me. Yo, yo, if, you're in the, if you're a woman in the chat, you love Eli. Put a one. Put a one. Put a one in. They love me behind closed doors, man. Like, <laughs> yo, what about you, Ju? Um, all right, I would have to say, um, I seen this this clip with Kevin Samuels. It was like this this lady. She was saying how she was dating a guy. She was mad at him because he wouldn't pay for her kids to go to school. And when the question was flipped to her, he said, all right, all right, let's just let's take that, for example. And he was like, what, let's say your son is dating a, a woman and she has kids. What would you say to him? And she was like, I would tell him to weigh his options for a woman that's, you know, that doesn't have kids. And then he was like, so why should a man pay for your kids to go to school? And when I tell you she looked in that camera like a deer in headlights for about 10 <laughs> minutes, <laughs> It says all. Oh, like, if you, how you expecting a man to do for you, which you wouldn't want your son to do for another woman? Mm, that's so, I mean, that's that what yeah, I see. Yo, he caught he caught a lot of women like that. Yeah, he, he's like he's like your uncle or your father. That's gonna be like he he's like he gonna tell you directly what you need to hear. It just might not come off the right way. But like, we all got that uncle in the crib. Like. Nigga, get your shit together. Stop smoking weed all day. Go get a job or whatever. He's that guy. You get what I'm saying? So, I mean, I can't understand how people feel so t- like some type of way. You know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. know. But yeah. that just that just reinforces that women don't handle criticism well. Like, 
Yeah, I, I think that you criticizing you criticizing men, and you don't hear no uproar about that shit. Mm-hmm. But as soon as you start criticizing women, then hey, like, oh, he hate women, blah blah. blah. I'm like, yo, he just keeping it real with y'all. That's all. It's like that's a little direct. There's a lot of ones in the chat, by the way. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't know what what does the one mean again? If you, um, no, if, if they hate if you lo- Oh, if you love Eli, if you love Eli and you're a woman in the chat, put a one. Okay, all right. Must I, I, see, I see I see a two in there. Like, I see a two. <laughs> Yo, now, nah, but my, let me see. The most memorable moment. Shit, I'm going to have to bring it back to the beginning, Yo, man. man that, no, no days left. Got three ones, man. I ain't going to lie. Shit. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, now they they changed it. They changed it. All right, yeah. But I mean, I'm gonna have to go back to the original man. At the average, at best, man, I, I, that obviously started. It started it off, man. Like, but mm. it just was like it made so much sense because this woman was requesting a certain caliber of man, and you know, when he asked her like what she rated herself, and she rated herself like a six. So I, th- I think it was a six. Yeah, he was a six because you can't use seven. Mm. And he was just like, "Yo, you were average, like you know what I mean." And it's the truth, but for some reason, that that's when it really made me believe, like, yo, people find average, like, an insult. Like, you know what I mean? Like, most people are average. Like, you know what I mean? So the fact that he called a woman average and I was, like, it sent women into an uproar. It was just like, yo, that's crazy, man. Like, you know what I mean? So, and it was just like, like, I don't know about y'all, but, like, outside of his tone, like, he, Kevin Samuels has always been about, you know, the unity of black men and black women. Like, you know, at the end of the day, that's what he's always been about. Like, you know what I mean? So a lot of people didn't hear that message because they was too focused on the tone. Oh, he could have said it like this. He could have said it like that. And it was just like, yo, are y'all even listening to the true message he tried to, you know, bring to the community? And he started a conversation that we needed that was long overdue, man. I ain't going to hold you. That conversation was long overdue because, you know, the fellas had – these conversations all the time, like whether it's in a barbershop, basketball court, the locker room, like these are the conversations the men was having right. uh, amongst men. You know what I mean? And Kevin Samuels kind of brought that to the to mainstream, basically. Like you know what I mean? I, I see everybody um in the backstage, man. I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring people on. Um, I dropped the link, man. I dropped the link. If y'all want to pop up on the stream with us, um, and say you know what Kevin Samuels meant to y'all, even y'all most memorable moment. Whatever it is, man, it's a celebration, man. We ain't going to mourn, you know what I mean? We're going to celebrate, you know, the impact he had on our community. Uh, let me see who we got here real quick. I got Jay. Let me see what Jay talking about. What's Yo, going on, fellas? Here. What's good, EJ? No, what's good with y'all? Um, mm. Kevin Samuels, when I first seen him, like, um... Man, he he was something else. Like he his whole message delivery, you know, that's what we need in this community. Like for real, because to be honest with you, it's not a whole lot of people who keep real with you, other than other than y'all and some other people. But Kevin Sanders did this thing, so I just come in here just to say my um favorite video of him was when this um I think she was like 40 and she was like a stripper and she called him to his show and he was straight real with her about everything and you know that's what's needed you know you can't shoot cold stuff you gotta be honest you gotta be truthful yeah that's a fact though that's definitely a fact man like one thing he kept it honest man whether it was with the fellas or with the the ladies, you know, he he kept it a buck, and it was it was what people needed to hear, man. But yo, Jay, man, we appreciate you for joining in. Oh man. yeah, definitely. Oh, shout out to y'all. Right. Y'all listened to me last room. They had the episode with the um threesome rules. Shout out to y'all in the episode. I watched yeah, the whole thing, so shout appreciate out to y'all. That. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Appreciate you, Jay. Yo, shout out to Jay, man. He be he be pulling up, man. Let me see. Let me yeah, see. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy his Eli. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's goody? What's good, man? Like, finally, we be oh, oh, goody. Yo, yo, who let you? What's good? Is it me? Yeah, it's you. Yeah, we... Hey, how hey. Yeah. Hey, Nova. Fi- finally hey. in the live. 
Hubby mm-hmm. said it was cool. It ain't no relationship to it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out. My boy, hey. Shout out to HB2 for your, you know what you did on the with SB. But anyways, uh, Appreciate it. Samuels, a lot of people hate on him. Mm-hmm. Hey, I thanked him. I thanked him. I wrote him. I said, Kevin Samuels, thank you for what you're doing because I'm a black woman. I got the ring, y'all. I got it. I got it. I've been okay, married. Play. Okay. And I, I got married young. I went to school, but I still dated. Me and my husband got married really young. Funny. Well, yeah, we're going to have our trials and tribulations wow. as part of a marriage. We were like, what's the contract and all that? When I saw my husband, I'm not on slave. So you got to want to do something for your man to be like, am I a slave and all this? Kevin Samuels in his tone. Fuck. Can I say, forget his tone. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the message, and we live at. It's a lot of how, like my husband works around how. The way they walk and talk, he won't lie. He won't lie, but now he's not saying all of them do. But he just letting you know, if this is what you want, you got to accept the, all that goes with it. You can't just say, oh, I want this and I want that, and you can't pour no water. Your your water is burnt. Come on now. Mm-hmm. That's a fact, though. That's a fact. <laughs> have to want everything that goes with it so what do you think about like you know a lot of women would complain about his tone and was there was there a way you felt like maybe he could have said it differently or you felt like he should have no. just he said it like how he said it he did it how he do it that's mm-hmm. it. how you represent that's how you go talk he was being blunt i hear um uh, dang it's so many words i can't say i don't know if i gotta say i want to get y'all uh canceled I, <laughs> hey this my this my b you might be, yeah, I'm your B, but if Kevin Jones tell, tell you you're average, uh, uh, below average or whatever, or average at best or whatever, you get mad at that. Why he called you a, a, a witch? You know, so I don't know what I can say. I'm like, can I curse? <laughs> you know, you can bitch, right? you and. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it 100. Kevin Samuels did a little stuff that was immature. Like when you make him mad, he will clown you and rush you and do all those. But sound effects that we goofy, we y'all laugh. But a lot of people set themselves up. They come up there and they try to see if they can challenge him mm-hmm. and, and advice. Because are you listening to what he got to say? Mm-hmm. And why are you worried about how his life is? He's telling you. He's passing on message that he talks to people about. He's like, let me let them know what's going on, man. Yeah. I don't like that shit. They, uh, he let you know about him straight up, and he ain't ashamed. Yeah, I was married twice. I got a divorce. I got a daughter. Yeah, you see, he don't trip when they put all the headlines on about him. He's yeah. I like that. He went from bow tie to smooth. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before, yeah. Telling y'all how to fuck our butts. Mm-hmm. So, and then and y'all got to pay attention. Why is everybody talking about us? You guys got to show out. Fresh and fresh and fresh, I like them because they say the stupid stuff for their age. You know what I'm saying? They move different. They party guards, so they're going to move like that. They're going to tell you how to rock when you're a party guard. You guys are different. How the way y'all talk to the lady. How Kevin Samuels. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm coming at? MTR. He ain't pushing marriage like that, but that's my boy, MTR. Shout out to him, too. And uh, SB. Shout out, SB. If you don't hear, that's my girl. But, mm-hmm. <laughs> Shout out to SB, man. Y'all, be, y'all, y'all telling people how to rock, especially at the age generation, right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. For sure. Listen, you know, just listen. Listen. Yeah. Now, but we, 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 oh, look, M- MTR right on cue. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. all right. Yo, yo! Shout out to MTR, man. Like, yo. my boy, man, MTR for real. That's my man, MTR. Shout I don't out. too. He probably went through a lot, and I don't. Hey, I ain't mad. I'm with Kevin Day outside your race. I really don't because I'm really getting sick and tired of women saying I don't need no man. If you got a car, you gonna need a man. That, that's that's one example. If you want to go and play the, uh, let's play a you challenge. Besides that car, though, but yeah, I got you. nothing that was man made. And by the way. Tampons and uh pass came from men. They started that because they got tired of the women. Read about your shit. Read something. They make tampons and pads. So that's one thing you can not eliminate unless you know what you're gonna use tissue. They make that too. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. 
Nah, but oh, yeah. for real, man, we we appreciate we appreciate you pulling up, man. We gonna yeah, try to get friend. everybody else, but yeah, you always been you always been supporting us, man. We appreciate everyone. Yeah, everyone. I, man, yeah, right. I gotta I, man, I support y'all. MTR, if you listening, I will hear you. You say you gotta get on the street. Daily uh rap crew is gonna change their stuff to what they name is daily rap crew, you know. <laughs> you know, live ain't title. It's like I gotta wait till next week. Damn, shit, it's a series. Shit. <laughs> All right, lady, we're gonna let you go. We're gonna get to okay. some other people. Appreciate you. Keep doing y'all stuff. Friday morning. Yeah, yo, shout out to Lady Man. She be yo, really supportive, bro. She used to send me the Kevin Samuel lives every morning. So I knew I knew she was gonna be in here at some point. Yeah, you know that's I mean? a fact, man. But now, nah, but for real, I seen on MTR says he says something in here about you know, we gotta keep the grinding. And I mean, that's honestly what it comes down to. Like I said, Kevin, he honestly opened that door for us to have this conversation to help us, mm-hmm. you know, with the community, to help better the community. And we gotta keep having these these tough conversations. I know people don't like hearing certain truths. But it's the only way we're going to heal from this, man. Let me see who we got. Big we fact. got up next. Yo, yo, yo. What's good? What's yep. good? Uh, you don't hear me? Yeah, yeah, we hear you. We hear you. What up, Jazz? Shout out to y'all. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. What, so what, what you got What you got for uh, Kevin Samuels, man? What was your most memorable moment? What did you learn from Kevin Samuels and his content? I mean, I feel like the easy answer to say is accountability, but like that's cliche at this point. Um, I would say what probably meant the most to me was in telling. Uh, there was a clip. It's kind of out now, showing it out. Uh, showing, they're showing it a lot. Uh, there's, he's saying, "Black men, like you, deserve more. Like you." deserve fair treatment you've done a lot to shape your image over the past 20 30 years i'm like somewhat of a statistician i guess like i like to read up on things and I, so i understand what he was talking about like that the wave of improvement over the past 50 years despite us not having you know i guess a great relationship with uh females that, women that look like us um or despite having issues with like child things or whatever children it, despite all those things like you've still done a lot now imagine what you could do if you did have your partner if you did have like a, a neutral family um you were able to lead your, your household um while all trying to improve you you know you can be a plumber but you can still make 70k you can still live well off of that you can be a teacher you be a lot of different. You don't have to be like these rappers. And no, no offense to them. Like I listen to them yeah. all the time. Like just listen to the Push T album. Shout out to Virginia. Um, but still, like it's you can be other things that you know help grow society. Like th- things that society actually needs. Um, and be respected. <laughs> You're a woman. Uh, you know, it's crazy how many women came to this platform, other platforms just asking for this six figure man and not like really willing to deal with the consequences of being with somebody who has that amount of resources, those many options. Uh, I don't want to get into a rap hole with that. I just, he, um, yo, he meant a lot to me, man. Like I, I respected him. Mm-hmm. Um, I respect what he was trying to do. The improvement, like if you saw him from when he started to where he, you know, yeah, yeah, was, yeah. Like he he lived what he was talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one thing I always respect about anybody, I don't care if you're a Republican, I don't care. Just don't be a liar. He didn't feel like a liar to me. So I can't really ask for much, but he gave me, I mean, actually more than that, but he gave me so much more than that. Um. So yeah, that's what I would like. That's what I would say. And the mm-hmm. last thing, shout out to MCR. I met him. I put that comment in YouTube. Uh, I met him in Columbus. He was a cool dude. But yeah, I, I felt bad for him. I felt bad for Mr. Sterling. I felt bad for uh, uh, O'Shea Duke Jackson. For um, for uh, Mr. Um, attorney. I'm sorry, I'm getting his name. Lead attorney. Lead attorney. Lead attorney. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you. Mm-hmm. So like, I, I felt bad for the, his his daughter. For you know, for his mom. Like, because he just felt so. I did not believe him, like at 
yeah, all yeah. like not believing. Like, no, they know nobody believed it when they first heard it. Man, I'm like, yeah, okay, okay. whatever. Like, but I honestly thought he was going. I thought he was going to pop up and be like, "Yo, I'm be live ten o'clock tonight." That, bro, that that ass, man. I thought it was coming. I was waiting for it too, and I'm just. I'll, I was waiting for him to hop on the live, like, so I heard I was dead. Like, <laughs> so shit, like you for know. real, that dude, that's literally 100% what I was going what I was thinking was going to happen, yeah. like maybe a day or two later. Like, yeah, and I'd be, and I'd be cool with that, like, or whatever. You know, I don't care, like, shock value, whatever. He's an entertainer, quote unquote. I've been there, but to, to actually know that it was true, like, um, it just reminded me, man, like, life is life, life is short, life you is short, it. man. Mm-hmm. Get it like you here, um. And I got a lot of things going on in my personal life, so he, he, he you know, he just helped uh, inspire me in a lot of ways. Yeah, yeah, man, that's 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 for real, man. He really, man, he he was about to take this mainstream. I don't even know. I don't know if y'all watch Atlanta, but he about to be on the next episode of Atlanta. Like, dude, got a million. He had the first one with a million subscribers mm-hmm. in the in the quote unquote manosphere. Mm-hmm. You know, um, Instagram. Like, he was he really put this like on a mainstream like you know, platform, like people didn't, black men have never been in a position to have, you know, spaces to be able to express themselves or to even talk about their experiences. And, you know, he, he definitely opened them doors. Obviously there was people before him, you know, that, that helped, you know, pioneer the, 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 um, the whole way or whatever the case is, but Kevin Sanders obviously took it to the next level, man. And, you know, it's going, it's unfortunate, but we got to keep doing our work as a community. For sure. Yeah. Especially y'all, man, people like y'all, like I never, uh, I'm much more of a reader, but yeah. I, what he was talking about in terms of black male media, how mm-hmm. we don't have control of our own image, mm-hmm. and it makes sense why people are able to treat us mm-hmm. the way they're able to treat us because we, they learn who we are through the eyes of other people, through the words of other people. Mm-hmm. Um, That's a big but fact. For people like me to support other people that look like me, especially if I'm not necessarily agreeing with everything they're saying, but I see somebody trying to do good, trying to do good. Um, we may not all agree how to do it, but you can see the effort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's I'm trying to do more of that. Um, I just want to say shout out before y'all let me go. Shout out to, uh, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Chez Chardé. Is that how you pronounce it? Chardé. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah sure. like I feel like she's probably one of the best, not the best in, in, the, in the sphere. I don't want to call it the it's, Calling it the men's sphere makes it seem like almost like you, you know, women yeah. can't, you know, but yeah. I, the, the way she lays it out, like yeah. from historical figures, and if you actually read what she posts and not just the actual videos, um, I think she does a lot of good work. Uh, and I'll just say that, but yeah, shout yeah, out to she, got the, she got the facts, man. Uh, she be yeah. having the facts, hell yeah, man. The facts. Yeah, man, but pre- appreciate you for pulling out, man. Too, man. Yo, man y'all, y'all have a good day, you yeah. too. I like you. Uh, we got a super chat from Sean Jones. He said, "Do you think Kevin Samuels has changed the trajectory in of the black man in America, kind of redefining what it means to be cool since there's so much violence in our community?" What y'all think? Um, yeah, ap- man, absolutely, man. Like I said, he he gave us a space, you know, and not to say he did it, but you know, he obviously elevated the, he, he, the space. Oh. Uh, he he did it, bro. I ain't gonna lie to yeah, you. Yeah, but yeah, but there was people before him that you know that yeah, wasn't yeah, as popular, if, obviously. But there was if, you know if you were doing it, but you ain't break through. He broke through. You feel me? And yeah, he, yeah. he he made the space for us to for people like us, not me, MCR, and all these other guys to to come through and speak our piece on what's going on in our community. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He, that's why we call him the Godfather. You know, what I mean? we're not calling him. He earned that shit. Yeah, he definitely earned that shit. So give him his flowers. Now nah, I mean, I wish we, we could have gave it to him when he was here. I mean, we did. No, nah, I mean, we, we definitely shot him out when we could. Yeah. And he definitely tuned in a few times. He was in our Yo, and, and, and and last time we was live, he came through and, and he had a super chat. And, 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 I, and I checked fake. that. Everybody that's saying that wasn't him, that was him. Man. Like, yo, that man, was the out. godfather himself in the super chat. You feel me? So yeah, yo, shout out to him. I feel like that was that was him giving him giving us his blessing, so I appreciate that. Man. You also was in our comments a few times too when we had a. Uh, that's that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yo, I'm I'm gonna tell you a story real quick. I remember the first time um Kevin Samuels commented on one of our videos. Mm-hmm. Um, I had I had and I put his name in it because you know obviously his name was like clickbait, so I just put and she was going off about Kevin. Samuels. But it was about him. It wasn't really clickbait. It was about him. 
it was about him, but you yeah, know, I had, to, I had to at him and all that, everything in the in the, in the title, because you know, I, I wanted it to get you know attention or whatever. So I seen a notification. If y'all got YouTube, there's an app, YouTube Studios, and I got a notification that said Kevin Samuels, da 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 da. da he had commented something. So I'm like, nah, maybe this is like a troll account. Like, you know what I mean? I'm like, nah, I can't be the real Kevin Samuels. So I had went to the notification and it disappeared. So I'm like, nah, I don't know. Maybe, you know, maybe I'm just seeing shit. But he had rewrote, that. yeah, he had rewrote the um comment because maybe I think he spelled something wrong or whatever the case was. He had rewrote it and posted it. And I remember we we in a uh, ace and Jew, we in a group chat, obviously, and I hit them up with the screenshot, like, yo, Kevin Samuels really just commented on one of our videos, like, you know what I mean? And it was just, like, mad crazy, like, you know what I mean? So. Definitely appreciated that shit. I ain't gonna hold yo, it. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> I know, I be I be catching people off guard. I just be popping. Right. Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up, y'all? Look, and I got, a, I'm up setting a fire in my kitchen, man. I'm look, yo, <laughs> hey, man, I just want to say shout out to y'all. You know what I mean? Y'all been doing I've been watching y'all since you started. Uh, MTR, shout out to you, man. You know what I mean, y'all. Y'all really giving us a platform where we can come, uh, come off our transgressions. You know what I mean. Uh, mm-hmm. As a guy, I'm 29. I got a child. Um, I also married. A lot of what Kevin Samuels did for me was just show me my intrinsic value, um, outside of monetary uh, things. So, really, just focusing on self improvement. I uh, yes, he went viral for you know uh, the average at best and whatnot, yeah. Yeah. but uh. What I thought was really cool was when I was like, you know, who is this guy? I know women are not going to like the way he's talking, obviously. But, like, let me do my own research. Bro, I go back, you know, two, three years, and he's telling guys, you know what I mean? Wipe your ass, you know, like, where to put cologne yeah. on. And it's just and it's just obvious things. Like, my dad was a blue-collar worker. You know what I mean? He worked 70 yeah. hours a week. So he was in, in my life, but it's to a certain extent. And a lot of the things that – he kind of should have taught me he wasn't there to teach me. Now, he's a great father, you know what I mean? Yeah. Gave me a great foundation. But as far as, like, the self-grooming, uh, the self-awareness, man, Kevin really changed my life, man. And it's funny because uh, when I first started watching him, wife was not feeling that shit, bro. And I had him <laughs> I on so much. Like... <laughs> bro, I had him on so much, she heard uh, – I think he was uh, – dang, man, I, I don't want to take up too much time. I know you got other people, but oh, basically – was just uh talking about sign language it, it, it was a sign language and i love the acronyms he would use because i'm like this dude has to do research 24 7 you know he he can't get any rest and then you know what i mean rest in peace but dude you see him drinking the red bulls it's probably because he was tired bro you know yeah. what i mean it's, it's a lot of work to do what he was doing so man i mean kudos to him for having the energy you know especially at his age to just continue to push forward and try to put out this content for us as men mm-hmm. to uh to definitely take into you know, consideration. So, yeah, man, I ain't gonna hold y'all too long, bro. I love what y'all doing. Um, Appreciate you know, it, rest in peace to Godfather, bro. He really, he really changed a lot of people's lives, man. And I think as more time goes on, and he's gone, and this ugly misogynistic message that he was spewing, you know, quote unquote, in three years, man, he's gone. Mm-hmm. Is there any changes? Like, you know, was he really the main factor in you not being married or you not getting what you want as a man? Yeah. It all begins with you. So. I'm just really glad that we have a, an archive of videos so we can go back. Mm-hmm. We can look at all the history, all the knowledge and game that he's given us. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man, we're we doing our thing, bro. But uh, we got to get this. We got to get our platforms up and we got to get our voices heard. Because yeah, like the boy said previously, bro, they only know what everybody else is talking about. They don't have it from our perspective. Exactly. You know? so, like, yeah. yeah, man, shout out to y'all. Keep doing your thing. The message is much needed right now. I got a daughter, so I'm, like, trying to steal this shit in, like, 18 months. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You know, you yeah. gotta respect yourself, but also respect <laughs> your man. Yeah. So, yeah, bro. It, it's, it's, I, I've got, I've got a, a good outlook on the future. You know what I mean? But, hey, shout out to y'all. Yeah, man, appreciate you, man. And shout out to your wife, man. Yo, like, I love seeing, you know, black marriages, man. I love seeing that, man. Like, so. Yeah, yeah. I'm three years from Appreciate you, man. Man, Yo, shout out to him, man, being a father. And this this is what we need in the black community. Fathers teaching their daughters the right way to, you know what I mean, go about life and stuff. Like, I always shout out Drew for doing that with, with his daughter and his children and shit. It's mm-hmm. good to see black men doing that. Just anyway. even on that last episode. So, I mean, don't be scared to even talk to your daughter about sex. She got to know her body parts. Check out that last episode that we just dropped. That's a fact, man. Um, yeah, real quick, let me shout out Captain Exec 
Shout out to the bros keeping it real. Keep on keeping mm-hmm. it real, man. Keep, appreciate that. Real. Appreciate that. So keeping it real go wrong sometimes, you Yeah, another one from Fraser Mech Fly. Fly, just Fly. Make fly. <laughs> the best way to honor Kevin Samuels to practice is teaching. That's a fact, man. That's yo, fact. another thing Kevin Samuels used to say, he was like, yo, niggas that use Axe body spray, mm. you ain't no damn teenager, you're a grown-ass man. He said something <laughs> about you need to chill your balls, wipe your ass, or wipe. wipe. Uh, he also said you need more than one pair of dirty-ass shoes. It was, it was a lot of shit that one pair you know, of dirty ass shoes. No, you should have more than you know one shoe. Like you know, dude wearing one shoe all oh, the time. Okay. You know, ass, just, you know, you know, and that's how you got like you know better opportunities. So when you out here yeah. smelling stink and looking dirty, then you wonder why you with that dirty. You know, you know what I mean? I'm telling you, you helped yourself. Yeah, that's dude, a fact. Dude, dude, we got a we got a comment here to you, man. What they, what he said? Do you need to talk about how many people? Need to talk about how many people you smash and start acting like you a ver- I guess he he said you need to stop talking about how many people you smash and start acting like a virgin. Oh, I am, I am, I'm saved now, I'm delivered. I don't uh, <laughs> I don't and, touch that no more. And and another thing, too, like I, I just want to touch on real quick because I've seen a lot of chats and I, I mean we've seen the women celebrating, you know, Kevin Samuels passing and Mm-hmm. trying to dis- disrespect him and mm-hmm. yo i'm gonna be honest with you he already opened the door man like kevin opened the door for black men to have these these spaces and to talk about our experiences like just because kevin samuels passed that ain't gonna make like i don't know why y'all think y'all gonna get any less more like y'all still gonna be single at the end of the day like you know what i'm saying y'all, like he his message is still gonna be there so it's like yeah you're saying disrespectful things like it's not going to help your chances of getting married. Like it's not going to. I mean, be regardless, if you don't agree with his message, the man passed away. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Condolences, and that's is in order. You know what I'm saying? Like we yeah, should. I've seen. I've seen. Cra- I've seen women. women. I'm, I've seen women thanking God for stuff like that, and and how I, I was watching. Yo, what I've heard the most is that's what he get for for coming at black women, and I'm like, yo, he was coming at you. To make you better, like his his goal was to make y'all better. It wasn't to break y'all down. Or anything. It was always to make you better. You gotta look at the intent for what somebody's doing rather than what they do. You just gotta look at the big picture. It's it's always about the bigger the bigger picture. Yeah, the intent was to make y'all better. So why are you just looking at how he delivering the message? What they always say, don't shoot the messenger, but read the message. Nah, yeah, I mean, and I'm tired of women. Oh, what he's saying is right, but it's how he said it. I'm just like. If he's what is if he's what he's saying is right, then that's mm. the only thing that should matter. Like you know what I mean? So, oh, man, it, I don't like him, but I never seen none of his his, his, his work. God, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I never I never watched this shit, but I but I, I don't know why he come at black women. Like how you know that if you never watch this shit? Come on, he man. also went at black dudes. Yo yo yo, super dad, oh, hey. super dad. All right, you you, you definitely got to preach. Come on, man. Brothers, good brothers, good brothers, good brothers. Love the show. Love the show. Doing? Let me tell you how many phone calls I got from homegirl talking about, yeah, you know, your boy died. And I'm like, Uh, even before I even knew about it, I'm like, who are you talking about? Yeah, your boy Kevin Samuels died. Yeah, uh, you 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 sad because your dad died. And I'm like, and then I, I checked into it and I'm like, oh snap. You know, but to the one that are like celebrating his 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 passing. I'm like, hold on. He's gone, and y'all still triggered of what he was saying. And he's not even here, so that's a win. Right. Then on top of that, he went how every man wants to go. He went <laughs> in some punani, <laughs> some fine punani, some young punani. Yeah. <laughs> what other way you want to go? Fight, and he was fight. rich and he's famous. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that's a win, 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 and a win. That's a fact. So what, what about what about his content? Would you say like you know I guess um, did you enjoy? You yeah, inspired you the most. So what did you like about his content? Man, his content. I'm his content. The reason I'm getting married at the end of the year, though. Word. Shout out to you, man. Like, that's, There's uh, a lot of people saying that right there. Let me mm-hmm. let me tell you. 
tell you what I took from his content. He had a show where he was telling a woman to go back to her baby dad mm. and hash it out. So I took that to heart. Went back to my son's mom. We hashed out all of our disagreements. And now we're here. Congratulations, that's up, man. That's what's up. Congrats, man. That's that's what's up, man. Like, and there's a lot. There's, there's honestly a lot more stories like yours, but you know, people trying to filter through that and trying to find the negativity. The negative. Word. Damn, that was her calling right there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to wife, man. Shout out to the wife. Man. <laughs> yo, but yo, we gonna um, we appreciate you calling in. You you muted right now. We gonna get to the next caller though, but we appreciate you calling right. in, bro. Shout out to you, man. Nah. Super dad. Word. Yeah, nah. Yo, it's a lot of it's a lot of families. Uh, it's a lot of women that even said that oh. Kevin Samuels helped them ma- get married. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, it's a lot of it's a lot of people like that. There's more stories like that, man. But and you, I, I think y'all gonna you, you be gonna start to see more of them stories throughout the next couple of weeks. Like people just really saying like, "Yo, Kevin Samuels really helped you know save my relationship." Are, we, are we gonna see that? Yeah, I are think gonna- so. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> They they only promote negative, man. I swear, man. That's... Yo, yo, what's up? What's up, Rashad? What's that guy, Rashad, man? What's good, Rashad? You good. Hey, first of all, I want to say happy belated, Jude. You know what I'm saying? It was your birthday not that long ago, man. Yes, sir. Like, yo, like, he be tuned in. Yo, Rashad tuned in. Like, he be knowing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. One of these days. <laughs> yeah, I follow y'all on uh, on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah appreciate that. Appreciate that. Yeah, appreciate but now um, I got I got a question for y'all. In in the wake of the whole uh Kevin Samuel situation, right? Mm-hmm. I noticed that a lot of black women had like this big ass disdain for for black men. So I was just wondering, do you think that do you think that black men should protect black women that disrespect black men? Hmm. That's a tough one. I, I, me personally, I think I, I believe black men should protect black women just regardless, man. I, I just think it's the principle. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, our, our women, they need protection. And I'm not going to lie. Some it's, it's no different from them. You know, black women not like liking Kevin Samuels tone and, and feeling like they need to disrespect him because he passed away. Like right. at the end of the day, man, I preach unity, man. And, and regardless yeah. if somebody stepped outside or they said hateful things to our community, if something happens to them, you know, if injustice happens to them, they deserve, you know, they still deserve our our, 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 our effort. You know what I mean? So, support. I mean, yeah, support. Like a lot of people might not feel that way, but honestly, I feel I feel that way, man. They need protection, and um, you know, we got to give it to them at the end of the day, whether they disagree with us, whether they say hateful things about us, we still got to protect them. Right. I think I think that's the only way to change the narrative because if they if they say hateful things about us and you know, we feed into what they saying, that's just going to make it worse. Mm-hmm. So the only way to make it better is to counteract the negative with the positive. That's it. Man. So if protection is what they need. We, we give them and hopefully after they get that protection, that will make us make them see us in a new light. Like I'm not saying all of them, but whoever do see this in, in the negative light, that might change their perspective. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Cause it's only gonna come back down to if we don't protect them, then they don't, they're not gonna protect us, and then nobody, nobody in the black community gonna have protection. Gonna and then, you know what I mean? So it's just the same cycle. We gotta stick together at some point, man. At okay. some point. Okay. At some point. Do you, so? So do y'all think that black women protect us now as they should? I, I think, I think black women are stepping up. There's a lot of it's, it's a lot of black women on social media, and that's what gets portrayed, but. If you yeah. look at Black Lives Matter, there's a lot of it's a lot of women in them crowds, man. You gotta you gotta really pay attention, but it's just right. it's just it's just it's just what's being pushed on social media, and that might be a plan of somebody else. You know what I mean? That's you gotta look past that. We gotta come together. At the end of the day, it gotta be us, man. Us versus them. Otherwise, you're not gonna get nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot of black marriages that's probably working out there. When black women keeping a man happy, you know, we only hear about the the negative perspective about it, but you know what I'm saying? It's going to come to a change. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, bet. And the only reason why I asked that is because, like, I, I ain't even got Twitter, but, like, all through Instagram, you would see, like, mad hateful, mad hateful comments about Kevin Samuels, but it's like, yeah, he had this very, like, salty approach to where uh, if you hear it, you're not really fucking with it, but if you really analyze what he's saying, he's yeah. speaking facts, like, 
Yeah, yeah, and, and I noticed um y'all put me on to uh what's her name? Uh Chaz Chardet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chardet. She yeah. had this uh she had this post in her community that said that uh why don't women why don't black women control the, the weave market? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I and I noticed like yo, like even like immigrant, immigrant like women coming from Africa, they wear weave, like it's booming, it's booming in their like little subgroup. So I I really want to know why don't black women control certain markets that like I feel like a like like the Asian community, no offense, like they control the nails, all that. Like, but mm-hmm. you really don't see black women doing that. That's a fact. That's yeah. A fact. Yeah, just, just I mean, just to get on that real quick, because I, I, I wanted to make this stream just about Kevin Samuels, because we do got oh, another yeah. live stream. We got another live stream on Sunday. Um, and I know you're going to tune in for that one, so we could talk about all of that. But just real quick before we get on to the next caller, um, Yo, black people are trillion dollar spending people, bro. Like we spend trillions of dollars, but we don't own none of the, the stuff that we spend the, the the money on. Like you know what I mean? So obviously, the the wig and hair industry is a trillion dollar industry, but it's not being controlled by the main people who spend the money on it. Like you like you said, and that's no that's no different from you know black men buying all this designer clothing and these expensive cars. Like we don't own none of this stuff, but we have no problem. You know, having everybody else come into our community and profit from us. So you look at our communities; everybody profit from black people except for black people, man. So That's you know, we, we we gotta fix that, man. Um, how many Chinese stores in in the black community? Even how many black grocery stores you see in the community? Ain't not oh, one of them black owned. Even the stores is owned by like Indian people, and yo, we got yo. It's so much. That we can do to to support each other, but we don't. Yeah, we gotta we gotta make it our business to support each other. I'm sure when Indian people see Indian people doing shit, they support them. We gotta get on that same wave. Everybody else do that, but us. Yeah. That's a fact, man. Yo, but appreciate you for calling in, Rashad. Man, yo, definitely pull up uh, on Sunday, man. We're gonna talk about that more yeah. in detail on Sunday. All right, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Y'all be cool, man. Y'all be smooth, man. Uh, happy Mother's Day to y'all moms, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, well, bro. Yeah. See y'all later. Yeah, be safe out there, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Rashad, man. Rashad be a heat. Rashad be in, I'm telling you, he be tuned in, man. Like, yeah. We got a super chat from DD. Kevin was definitely an inspiration to me and many others. He will be missed. We will definitely continue to spread the message, the hatred. That so many women have for him will not change their outcome. The truth hurts. That's, That's a, a fact. fact. I mean, that is a fact. Like, you know what I mean? Mm. And, you know, as much as black women, you know, didn't like his tone or didn't like him, there's a lot of black women that supported this man. Yo, you know what's crazy, though? But he went off on, like, other women of other race. I remember mm-hmm. a white chick said something on there. He, he just went off on her. Yeah, yeah, he, did, yeah he did go off on her. Like, you know what I mean? So, yo, shout out to Didi, man. Mm-hmm. Yo, 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 King Confidence, what's up, man? What's good, okay. man? Yo, what's, what's up, up bros? Um, what's up? Hey, first and foremost, man, let me, let me, let me tell y'all, brothers, man, y'all definitely doing y'all thing. Appreciate For real, man. That, Look, man. I just start, I, I just start tuning into y'all, man. Probably like a month or two, man. Caught up in the fresh and fit, all that garbage, man. They ain't got nothing on y'all, man. No, look, no, 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 no hopping on, no none of that. No real talk, though. You know what I'm saying? I've been Appreciate catching up with y'all content Appreciate lately. It. And it's it. definitely it's real. I'm gonna I'm, I'm tell y'all why, not to get off, not to get off topic, but what y'all do is y'all allow the women to talk, and the more they talk, you know what I'm saying? They contradict themselves. A lot of these other content creating dudes, they want to mm-hmm. argue with these bros. Y'all don't argue with them. Y'all, y'all, y'all let them talk. And then we decipher what they say, you know what I mean? From what they, from from their point of view, and then we pick it up. A lot of these dudes be arguing with them, want to fight. That's where all that negativity come from. But I'm going to tell you a funny story about Kevin Samuels, man. I was down GA. I was in Columbus, Georgia. It was like an hour away from Atlanta, man. That's when I first heard about the dude. Um, And uh, I had a bride, man, I was dealing with down there. She was from Indianapolis or whatever. And, uh, you know, the way I carry myself, man, you know, up north all day, you know what I'm saying, all day. So down there, it's it's different, you know what I'm saying? So she was like, you carry yourself like Kevin Kevin Samuels. I'm like, who is this dude? And she had real hate, like real hate for this dude. I'm like, I got to check this dude out. So the first uh, joint I seen, man, was the, was the shit-talking bus driver, the shorty from California that called him up. And uh, and, and, she made him hang up. and she made him hang up. I mean, he made her hang up on him or whatever, because she she was in her feelings. I was like, 
oh, this dude the truth. So I got to I got to really, really start subscribing and looking into this dude. But he got me up on my uh, he got me up on my cologne game. I was I was Creed all day, but he introduced me to some to some to some some real heavy hitters, man. And the dude was like, like I said. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> Try cloud, no, 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 kill that. But um, <laughs> but no, nah, real talk though, man. The dude, look, the dude, man, was 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 a hundred percent, man, like real. And the one thing I'm gonna tell everybody that's watching, man, even y'all brothers, I don't know if y'all ever heard of Breaking the Curse of Willie Our Tomorrow, man. But that's a deep book, man. Y'all need to look look into that, what's man, what's and read name, that. It's, 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 it's called Breaking the Curse of Willie Lynch by Alvin Morrow. The uh the science and psychology of slavery, man. It's real. You can find it on Amazon, man. Paperback, like nine dollars some change, man. Y'all go pick that up. That right there, change. That changed my life, but that that kind of is on the level of what what Kevin Samuel's talking about. That book only not only tells us about where we've been, but it tells us where we are right now and where we need to be and get to where we're going. You know what I'm saying? As a people. So, like I said, that's that's real healing energy right there, but. Like, yo, I've been fighting so many weirdos on YouTube and all this that I don't even know. Like, mm -hmm. I'm sitting here waiting for y'all. I'm like, rest in peace to the Godfather. I get all these bras on it. So my Godfather, ha, ha, ha. I'm like, y'all don't even know you. Who are you? So that go to show you, like, the impact that this dude had that got people hating on you just for showing somebody love. So that's what we need more of, bro. When they, if, if, if they don't hate you, then you ain't do nothing great, man. And that man is great. I was going to say that, man. man. Like, I was say that. Bro. Yeah, man. But appreciate you, man. Appreciate you for yeah, calling that in, man. man. That man like Jordan, man. But look, y'all stay up, man. Rest in peace to the Godfather. Long live the Godfather, man. It's only the beginning. Y'all yeah, brothers man. keep carrying the wave, man. Keep carrying the content. Keep keep sh keep showing them what we need, to, bro. Salute, yeah. man. I appreciate y'all, man. You, man. I appreciate you, man. Thanks yes, for calling. Yo, that's King love. confident. Shout out to you, man. That's love, y'all. I put the um, I put the the link in the um, in the comment in, in the chat. Y'all yeah. want to pop in. Um, and make sure y'all hit that like button. I don't know what the like said. What the like said right yeah, now. Somebody asking with a with a calling number. With a calling, like we a radio station. Yeah. Right? It's a link. Yeah, the it's link is in the comments. Too, like, man. Man. Like, yo, it's in the description too, man. Yeah. Yeah. And one of the things with with that I think we are similar with Kevin Samuels, I think we hold men and women accountable. A lot of different platforms. I'm not gonna say partic no particular names, but you know, what I mean, we're not just pointing a finger. Like if I do something wrong, I'm looking at Eli. And Ace to tell me, you know, I right, now nah, you you wilding on this. Yeah, we we all we all hold each other accountable on that show, man. That's yeah, that's, like, that's the only that's way we gonna get. Show. Yeah, that's the only way we gonna com improve as a community. Like I don't know if y'all know, but we really focus on improving the community, man. Like you know what I mean. So I, we understand like it's power and unity, and you know we've been so divided, so much hatred, so much trauma. And it's destroying our community. It's breaking it down, man. But we really about unity. And I know Kevin Samuels, he was about that, too. He probably said it, you know, he probably said it in a, in a way you didn't want to hear it. But it was the truth. And, you know what I mean? Yeah, I see everybody backstage. I'm, I'm, we're going to get to everybody. Trust, man. You know, we got a lot of people backstage. Mm -hmm. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, fellas? I just want to say before we start talking about, you know, the OG, uncle, a.k.a. Godfather, that y'all love y'all show. Y'all are literally the epitome of what people think of the good about black men. Letting women speak and get they get they they stuff off without nobody cutting them off. And I see y'all, I see your eyes, y'all being frustrated, upset like what did she just say this now? But y'all but y'all let it rock, but but yeah, um yeah, man. I, I ain't gonna lie, like I cry a little bit, like because I feel like Kevin Singh was like that cool fly uncle that smelled good. No yeah. females is around. Like, yo, y'all ever seen my cool uncle, Uncle Kev? He mad yeah. cool, he smell good and all that. So, so it's like people that really hate him or dislike him that much that said those bad things are people that don't want to get themselves together in life, in my opinion. Like he's not telling nobody, no, no, nothing, no different than anybody tell you, tell you as a man, tell me as a man, you got, you got stuff together, bro. You get you a job, smell good, get clean, get fresh. Exactly. That's a fact. That's yeah. A fact. yeah. yeah. Every, everything that he was preaching was just, was something that you need to hear. It's like, it's like, it's like, a, it's like a, um, you got the, you, you got YouTube open in the back. Uh, I think the app, but it's not on right. Okay. Yeah. Can I hear like a little echo? Oh, okay. All right. Did you hear it now? Uh, 
Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. But it's not that crazy. But yeah, it was, he was just like that 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 figure that needed that you needed to hear, you know, the truth from. Like, you know what I mean? Like everybody else is gonna lie to you, tell you what you need to hear. Nah, if you wanna tell you what you you know the truth, like you know what I mean? So, even if it hurts your feelings, you don't wanna tell you it. Man, it was it was a breath of fresh air for me. Like, like having all of us as men that didn't have a father figure that all we had was they, they mother that was tough on them, screaming, barking them all day. But she could never tell you how to be a man. She couldn't teach you how to bathe properly, how to talk to women, what kind of things women like from a man's point of view. He gave us all of those things. Right. Be fly, be on time, stay cordial, learn how to speak, learn how to talk, learn how to get better manners, learn how to talk with, with etiquette and intelligence. Yeah, he really embodied those things. Mm. That's a fact, man. That's a fact. But I'm not gonna hold y'all too long, bro. Eli, yeah, appreciate, appreciate, appreciate Ace the Goat, man. Juju, my guy. Happy <laughs> Ray G Day, bro. Appreciate y'all, bro. I'm gonna keep watching the show. Get some more yeah, fine yeah. drinks up there. You heard? <laughs> nice. Yeah, no cap. Nice. That, man. Working on that, but yeah. Yeah. Oh my fault. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to him, man. Yo, but but real talk, man. He just used to tell you how to be better, man. I'm I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Like you watch Kevin Samuels, and you you will learn something every every time you watch that shit. Man. Yeah. But I'm, I'm looking even I'm looking at even on the chat that we're on right now, right? And I've seen a few people write like, "Oh, if you need a dating coach, I don't, I wouldn't even take you serious." I don't know who it was. I'm not even gonna say the name. But I mean, like, I don't see him as a dating coach. I just feel like. He's your uncle, or even you want to say your godfather, who would give you advice on what would make a man happy, or what a man is looking for in you, or what you what you understand. People have a problem with caring that they're average. That's the biggest thing that women took from you know even hearing Kevin Samuels like, "Yo, you're average." You know what I'm? Well, ninety percent of us on this goddamn planet is average. You get yeah, what I'm saying? Most people is average. Like, that's just how people are. Like, you know what I mean? So, especially when you started breaking out the numbers, he's out of numbers. Like, only 10% of men, you know, make over 100K a year. And and it was just like, all right, well, you know, what I, what I took away from his, from his content was like, okay, well, if you want this caliber of man, which is the 10% of men, like, why do you feel like you qualify for that? And a lot of the times it was just because I'm me. I'm a woman. I'm just that a third. There was no real qualifications. It was just like, because I'm me. And it was like, yo, now nah, that that let me know, like, and he he let a lot of men know that, yo, we we it's okay for us to have standards. It's okay for us not to tolerate right. the baby mamas. Like, shout out to the baby mamas. Like, it's not for me, but shout out to y'all. Mm -hmm. But like, it's okay for us to have standards and stuff like that. You know what I mean? We can't we shouldn't just tolerate certain behavior from women from our women. Like, you know what I mean? And he really brung that to the mainstream. So I mean, you know, shout and out. And that to they people. also have to offer us something besides pussy. Yeah, sure. I mean that is true. That is true. Yo, yo, Bree. Hello. Hey, what's Hi. up? How you doing? How y'all doing? Man, Thank you for having good. me on. Mm -hmm. why, you, why you not carrying up, Bree? I, I'm it's late and I'm a mess. <laughs> my hair is all over I see my you camped up early. You wasn't camped up earlier. No, no. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Wrong person. Okay. Okay. What's up? So I so just about... wanted to um. Oh, no, I was just going to push back a little bit on um, you guys talking about protecting um, black women. I, you know, when I hear that um, quote or statement, I, you know, I mean, is it that you're saying protect just random black women? I, you know, I don't get that because mm -hmm. I don't feel like you guys should insert yourself in situations that you don't know anything about, therefore risking your lives for someone who, you know, possibly could have gotten themselves in a predicament where it was their fault. Mm -hmm. And further, and with that also being said, I had a father, he passed away. That was my protector, you know, mm -hmm. and then my husband would be my protector. So all this, this protect black women, mm -hmm. their families are the ones that are supposed to protect them. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. Um, you know, so I, and I, let me, let me ask you a question, Bree. If, let's say you was walking down um, in the Jewish neighborhood, and, and you see a man attacking the Jewish woman. You think them them Jewish men not gonna stop and protect her? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that it, it comes across as something random. Of course, if you see somebody on the street, you mm -hmm. know, getting beat up on or whatever, you know, hopefully you'll call the cops. Or mm -hmm. I don't know about today though. Now because. 
Today, it's a different story. You know, mm-hmm. intervening like that, you don't know who carrying a gun or whatever. I mean, if that's yeah, what you yeah. choose to do, then yeah. that's 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 good for you. But mm-hmm. what I'm saying is the women I know, the chicks mm-hmm. that I know, they got brothers, uncles, cousins that's mm-hmm. down for whatever. They want mm-hmm. all the smoke. Mm-hmm. So I don't need no random man just, you know, inserting himself in a situation that, you know, could possibly be something that I did. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times we know that women, you know, if it's in a situation of abuse or something like that, that they, mm-hmm. a lot of times they go back to that man, you know. That's so, true, too. That's true, too. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, that, where, where I you just, to me, that's, I'm from Buffalo, New York. Okay. okay. But um, it's just a real general statement. And then it's, it's presented like, you know, black men don't protect their women. And that's not true. Uh, you protect your women that's in your family. Mm-hmm. And granted, if you see somebody out in the street, no matter who it is, I, well, you know what I mean? I, I mean, of course, you, you do what you can, but um, it's just like these random chicks talking about black men protecting black women. No, your father, your, you know, people, at the men in your family, that's mm-hmm. what they're there for. That's why you get married, you know? And so, um, also, if you don't mind, I just wanted to just share a little testimony as to what I feel Kevin, you know, kind of, um, that's what we have for. Do you think? So basically I'm 43 years old. I have two children, two different men. I'm a baby mother, never been married. Um, and one of the things that I got from Kevin was, um, basically a fear that I had that had I, um, became a wife I thought that becoming a wife meant that I always had to um keep that person happy or entertained you know and he kind of like he helped me see that that was not necessarily my job I you know I have other jobs that I had would have as a wife and that that was not necessarily my job as a wife because it was based off of fear you know and Again, like I said, he just helped me to recognize my fear of trying to wanting to try to make some thinking that marriage was about making the other person happy all the time. So that's what he, you know, that's what I got from. I got a lot of other stuff, but that was a good thing. And then also I have a 25 year old daughter, so I get to share that wisdom. And she came to me with Kevin Samuels one day and I was like, how do you know about him? (laughs) <laughs> and she had guy friends telling her about him. So yeah. it's just kind of cool to see that, you know, he transcended like all ages, you know. So mm-hmm. with that, thank you for letting me share. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate you for pulling up, man. Like, yeah. Thank you for pulling in. Thank you. We got a super chat from Wolf Stacks. Appreciate y'all, bro. Don't give up the fight to get our black community back together and let a lot of our women know be happy with a great man. Shout out to you, Wolf Stacks. Yeah, man. But, like, she had a good point about, and remember, I, I said that on a show before, like, the protection, the first form of protection for black women comes from their family and their husband, yeah. like, you know what I mean? So, I mean, she's very much right about, you know, black men, you know, very much could risk their lives, you know, helping a, a random, you know, woman, you know, without knowing the situation. You know what I mean? So. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't trying to get in nobody's drama. I might call the police for you, but I'm not, no, no. I mean, that's, that's a form of protection, man. I mean, yeah. I mean, it depends on it depends because the police do more damage than good sometimes. So, that, I mean, that, too, that too, that too, that too. Yo, yo, yo. What's good, Sienna? Oh shit! <laughs> Hello. Can, can yeah, can now we can. Hear you. Yo, yo, why all the women that come in never camped up? What's up? Listen, you, you listen. Was I up, you was camped up early. I know. I seen somebody camped up. Somebody I, was camped up. That was up. me. That was right. me. I was waiting for. So what happened? But hold on, let me hold on. Because I'm not scared. <laughs> All right, that's what I'm like, real quick, real quick. Yeah, I see the fellas. The fellas got no problem jumping on that camera. Yeah. Yeah. I was waiting. But um, so mm-hmm. let me be real with y'all. I, I respect y'all platform so much. Like I love like everything y'all doing. And this Thank is coming you. from a black woman. So I wanted, to hop on. I wanted to hop on real quick and tell y'all, okay. I saw the comments about Kevin Samuels from black women and how they were 
basically celebrate this man dying. And mm-hmm. first things first, um, I'm going to make this real short, but I started watching him two years ago. Like, soon as COVID started, I was in a full-blown relationship with my first love, everything, and he had me watching it. But he just liked to watch it just because he was clowning on women and stuff. But I actually started paying attention to more things about the world. Just like he kind of put everything in perspective. Like he put me onto so much. Like I can't even, I can list some of it. Like uh, just going to school for different majors that's stupid. You're not really making that much money. And and then, you know, the whole I don't need a man thing or the independent woman thing. And, and kind of like what the woman just said about protecting black women, that's, that's entitlement, really. Like, I'm not saying black men shouldn't protect us. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying mm-hmm. some most black women my age, you know, I'm 24. It's like we expect so much from y'all and we don't give y'all nothing in return. So I'm not one of those people. I feel like you're supposed to. Like wait, wait, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yo, I'm I'm really shocked that you actually uttered those words. Like, that's crazy. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like. No, why, why do you why do you feel that way though? I just I'm just curious. I think it's because how I was raised. I'm from down south. Like I'm from Alabama. So anyway, um I mean the fact that you're that's... acknowledging is a, is a lot right there. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You think so? Lot, well, yeah. I'm happy to even come on here because I don't do this type of stuff. But I just had to tell y'all, like, y'all have to keep this message message pushing. Don't let y'all platform die, Lord. Like, please don't stop what y'all doing. That's I don't care what you know what he would call modern women say about y'all. Like, don't let them, like, deter y'all from y'all mission. Nah, just nah, just we, keep we, it up. We here, to, we here to stay. They ain't running us off no That's platform. Fine, man. We, yeah. here, we got a lot <laughs> of support <laughs> from, you know, the fellas. Like, they gonna hold us down. You know, we ain't gonna never get, I ain't gonna say never, never, but you know what I mean? And, 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 and young ladies like yourself. Or you you like ain't gotta say it. We ain't never gonna get canceled. We out here, man. <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. And, never, and then push the message, message about, um, like, he would tell us to go to therapy. Like, he he got oh, yeah, me to go to therapy and like yeah. resolve issues with our mothers because that's a lot of it. It's a lot of women that got a lot of uh, childhood trauma and they projected onto their relationships. Listen, tell them to go to therapy just like he did. Like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you. I'm glad you're therapy. saying this, man. Maybe they maybe they understand yeah. it when it's a black woman saying right. it because if we yeah. say it, then, you know, I appreciate it every I, show. I <laughs> I like, maybe I should say something because. It's very few of us. I know it is. It's very yeah, few yeah, yeah. out here that support y'all, but y'all have some of us out here. Like we support yes. y'all. Yeah, All of appreciate, us. appreciate yeah. that, man. That means a lot, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm being the comments. I gotta go. I gotta run. But shout out to right, Sienna on a Monday. Thank, Rest thank you, Sienna. Samuel, shout out to MTR and y'all platform Daily Rap Crew. I love you guys. Mm-hmm. See what I mean, man. That's that's love for real, man. Like appreciate that, man. That actually means a lot, man. Hearing a black woman say oh. that, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We, oh. we got Eli and like, what what's Eli. What's good, Eli, man? Yo, that's oh. Eli, the Eli connection right there, man. And, and your both got the Kevin Samuels fit. He got the Kevin Samuels fit on his shirt. I mean, I mean. <laughs> yo, 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 you on mute? Can y'all hear me, brother? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good. Hey, shout out to y'all, man. Just first off, I thank y'all for what y'all do. Y'all black men be representing. I appreciate how y'all conduct yourselves and y'all content. Appreciate that. Y'all represent like I, I I say this real quick. As black men, I think every time we see a black man uh with a, who got a lot of eyes on him, we like, bro. I hope he don't make us look yeah, no bad. type that's of way. I'm not gonna because hold you. I was it, thinking no, that with Kevin. I was thinking that with Kevin. I'm like, man, I hope they don't try to cancel him because I felt like he rep he was the voice for black men and like he normalized so- here on our side. Yeah, there was such a target on him, man. I was like, damn man, I hope nothing crazy, you know what I mean, come out or whatever the case is. But yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Um so I, I just want to start off saying I, I thank y'all for that first of all because I, I got on y'all content a couple months ago and it was a I'll tell you this. It was very different. I think the way the black women introduce you says a lot. Because the way black women introduced me to Kevin Samuels and the way black women introduced me to y'all was completely different. Okay, okay. I, I just gonna sound like I'm trying to be funny. I'm not. Like, yeah. I'm a big dude. I'm 6'3". I'm like 300 pounds. I'm a big dude. Mm-hmm. I was dating a, a, a thicker chick, and she wanted me to uh, pick her up. And she was like, why you don't be trying to pick me up all the time? I said, look, man, uh, why, why women who ain't skinny want us big dudes to do skinny stuff? <laughs> 
<laughs> we I, no, I'm I know it sounds like I'm trying to be funny. I said, listen, I said I can bench about my weight, but I'm benching and I'm not I'm not stroke. Like, come on, G. Yeah, so you, I got, think you, you get what I'm saying, Eli. Like, yeah. come on, man. I, I get you. I get you. I get and you. She goes, you sound set. like Kevin Samuels. I said, who is that? Who's Kevin Samuels? And the what, what she said to me was she started describing mm. a bunch of stuff that had nothing to do with anything he said. He this old, uh, lonely ass. Da, da, da. And I'm like, oh, okay, um, I'm going to check him out. And immediately... I get, I get what everybody. Goes. He was disrespectful. Nah, man, he was like unk. He, yeah, exactly. Yeah. All the old school, fa like male family members, I got. He talked like hey. them, hey. except, except, except he, you know, I think he was, he was, I think he, he kind of labeled him or, or, or created the image like he was the classy, like how old boy said. He was the unk who kind of had his shit together and was like, let me tell you, young is something, man. Here's what's really going on out here. To the barbecue with two Johns on him, like you know what I'm saying, like, yeah. hey, hey, this is my nephew right here. This is my nephew. This is my nephew. There go my niece over there. You know she in college. How you doing? How you doing? Like you, you, y'all get what I'm saying. Yeah. And again, like I said, he normalized hearing our side because mm -hmm. he voiced something. That I'm glad he put a name on it. Do y'all remember when he brought up one way aggression? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One way aggression. If it were, I think if it wasn't for Kevin Sanders, one way aggression would be a subject like how slavery is for white people. Like it's optional. They don't have to know about it. And, and one way aggression is something that black women haven't had to know about. That's why Shaharazad Ali got so much stuff back in the day because she said, yeah. black women are only women you can't examine. You yeah. can't talk about nothing they do. And he said, no, we all black. We can't get nowhere if we can't talk to each other. So look, man. Mm -hmm. it, was, it, was so, it, was so it was so normalized like you know and then when he when he said the, when he said those actual words i'm like yo now that's true it was just so normalized we never even put a word to it like you know what i mean like so that's, when he said the one-way aggression everybody immediately understood what he was talking about you know right and and, and real, real quick let me let me get to the super chat shout out to poor man that's podcast true. You know, he says, um, it's always great. Oh, to shout out. Noticing and appreciate what we're trying to Definitely build. Definitely shout out Poor Man's you know, podcast. Poor Man podcast, he's another dude that, you know, he come with the facts, man. He's much appreciated appreciate in this space, man, because, you know, he definitely come with the facts and like he's going to hold both both sides accountable as well, man. So shout out yeah. to him, man. We definitely. We and that's definitely how we build communities, y'all. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate so, That's how we build a community. So I just I appreciate y'all letting me come on. Yeah. Uh, rest in peace to the OG Kevin Samuels. We appreciate everything he did. And just real quick, this man, if it, to any of the folks who celebrating his death, just know this. That's sick. That's 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 so weird. Mm -hmm. I've ne like honestly, that's just it's weird, guys. Mm -hmm. I don't think if you see, I don't know if you want to switch to races, whatever. We we can we can get on here and talk about all the stuff Elvis Presley did, but the white community ain't didn't celebrate his death. So it, it's just weird. It's weird yeah, to me. I mean, they ain't tripping over what he did, right? <laughs> Even he, Spielberg he out here, Kelly. right? He was the white R. Kelly and the R. Kelly behind bars. <laughs> like, There's a couple white R. Kelly, Stephen Spielberg out here still yeah. directing. What's that's up? The that's the fact. No yeah, problem. What was that? Um, Harvey Weinstein. You don't see Oprah oh, and Gail. Yeah. Oprah and but Gail, Bill Cosby is the, is the I mean? face of of that type of thing. Like it, yeah. Bill Cosby got so much attention. Harvey Weinstein looked like he was he, he like his stuff was was a, <laughs> was a rumor almost. Yeah, yeah. He, he had a whole documentary and still nothing about him. Nothing after that. Weinstein's <laughs> name is still in credits, brother. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's different, man. But you already know how that go, man. We working, we absolutely, working to absolutely. change that narrative about black men, man. And I'm glad Facts. we able to have these spaces, man. Which is why y'all show is important, G. Yeah, Which man, is why y'all show is important because they gotta see us because they don't they if we don't show them, they make their own assumptions about us, man. And I appreciate what y'all do, man. Keep it up, man. Appreciate that, appreciate man. You, man. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate you, bro. Yo, that's, yeah, that's we got another super good. chat right here. Um, Cody Marshall. Says be the hydra of the community. Okay. I don't know. The only hydra I know is from Captain America. Like, so I don't know if that's an Amaro. Like, I, I don't know what you're talking about, like, bro. I mean, like, 
You got to fill us in. What you yeah, mean? Yeah, you got to fill us in on that one, man. Like I watched Agents of Shield, man. Hydra was evil, man. I <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Hey, how y'all brothers doing? Yeah, we good, man. How you doing, man? Man, I'm, I'm blessed. I want to say blessings and peace to all y'all brothers up here and what y'all doing, daily wrap up. Y'all keep y'all, you know, what I'm saying platform strong, and uh, I'm, I'm behind y'all 100 percent on everything y'all do. You know what I'm saying? Y'all show me a microcosm of myself because I'm a black man uh, with a degree, with no kids. And when we talk about Kevin Samuels, I take that real deep. Uh, I must say to y'all gentlemen, for the ladies that, I, the way I feel, the, for the ladies that's out here celebrating his death, those are the ones that really he... He said something that was true about them, first and foremost. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why they celebrate his death, because the truth hurts. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And when that man was up there and he was telling them exactly what it is, he was trying to build a culture of our community. We don't, we, we don't reciprocate our strength the way we should reciprocate our strength. And it, 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 it hurts me to know that you know what I'm saying? I'm glad y'all brought up Poor Man's podcast. I love that brother, man. He he do his thing the same way y'all do your thing. Man, mm -hmm. man, when I tell y'all, it hurt me to my heart to hear that Kevin that passed. It's like a brother because, you know, if you if if, if, if women really look about it, he was he didn't just get on the women. He got on the men too. Men would come up and act like clowns. He would get on the men in a exactly. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? And, and it, is it me or it seem like that I'm, you know what I'm saying? It seemed like uh, us us men that knew and listened to his platform, are we the only ones that paid attention or did the women pay attention to that? Now, the women, the women definitely paid some. attention. It was some. Yeah, it, was, it was some, yeah. It was some. Yeah. But I, I feel that. No, but you know, they, they had to come from somewhere, so the women was definitely paying attention. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they are. They got him to where honestly, it was the women that broke that made Kevin Samuels. Honestly, if you mm -hmm. think about it, like you know what I mean? Because like you said he he was talking to men for years and nobody cared. Like you know what I mean? And the minute That's he said you was average, he blew up. You know what I mean? So uh, he, mm -hmm. well, he see, it, to me, it seems like uh, to me personally. Yeah. It seems like uh, the ones who celebrate, they have a problem with uh, being authentic. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's a, we, we so much as a community, as our community, we look forward to being real, keeping it real, keeping it real. So when he would, uh, Kevin would ask them, them sisters, hey, well, you know what I'm saying? Is that is that really your natural beauty? You know what I'm saying? Because when a woman, when they approach us, and when you first meet a woman, especially younger women, Nowadays, they are looking for us to automatically be projecting a lot. You know what I'm saying? If I go, a woman come up to me, hey, well, uh, how many kids you got? Uh, I don't have no kids. They looking at me like, wait a minute, no. You mean to tell me? And I'm 40. And they looking at me and telling me, hey, you, you 40 years old. You ain't got no kids. Get, get out of here. And that's then, a red flag to them, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, look, red than the shirt I'm wearing, and you tell me <laughs> <laughs> you you speak. Yeah. Look, you speak in gospel, bro. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. when I, when I hear this, you know I'm I'm not trying to be on here long with y'all because I know y'all doing your thing. It yeah. just hurt my heart. I send my prayers and uh, all of my 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 thoughts to the family. You know what I'm saying? His mom. It, you know what I'm saying? Why would you celebrate? Can I add, can maybe y'all can help me with this one? Why would women celebrate? I can't, I can't help that, you that one, bro. I can't. <laughs> no, 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 so y'all ain't let, let me get it out. How can you celebrate this man's death and his mama felt so disrespected on how it went across the platforms before she even knew it? Mm -hmm. And she's a black woman. Yeah. That they want to protect. They act, they act like he Hitler or something. Like, I don't get it. I don't, yeah, I, yeah. I honestly don't get it. The, the level of disrespect that I've seen is just like, it's yeah. honestly disgusting, to be honest with you, man. And I mean, like I said, his, his he opened that door and his, these conversations are going to continue to happen. 
you know, black men, we had we have this space now where we can speak mm-hmm. up and talk about our experiences and, and, and uplift each other and, and, and better help our, our community. And it is going to continue to happen. And because of that reaction, we're going to push it even harder. Man. Pause. Yeah, exactly. Pause. It's going it's to go. It's going to go even further because of that. Man. Yeah. Well, y'all brothers, stay peace, blessings to y'all. And um, look. Yeah, I might not. This might be the first time y'all to see me, but I'm always on your stuff, hitting the likes, sharing, and making appreciate sure. That, and appreciate this, that. Man. I turn my ne- my nephew on, and he just want to uh, as a rookie. Yeah. He just want a Super Bowl with the Rams, so I got him cheeky y'all out too. Oh, <laughs> his name Bobby, his name Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown the third. That's right. His name Bobby Brown the third with the Rams. So, like I said. Y'all, y'all make sure y'all keep doing this and share these gentlemen out and keep this reciprocating on our community like so. Like I said, peace and blessings, y'all. Appreciate, Appreciate you, you man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Yo, let me let me get to the super chats real quick for you. you put anybody. RP, rest in power, Kevin Samuels. He'll be missed. That's from my bro, Deshaun Rose. We got another one from Beef Wellington Ross. I think that's uh, yeah, I think a big, big part. Oh, okay. I think that's a big part of the problem. His detectors never had anyone care enough about to hold them to task, and the attitudes grows as such. Nigga, nigga, came over there reading like a third, uh, oh, a third yeah. grader. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. He made some mistakes, but I, I think I got what you trying to say. Though, I think I think that's a big part of the problem, right? As a fact, yo, yo, yo. Wait, we, we yo, got what's up, what's up with y'all, man? Yo, yo first of all, Mike, how y'all doing? Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. We gotta get to this. Michael Machov the fourth. Kevin gave me a shout out a year ago. RIP Kevin Samuels, the GOAT. And we got another one from Navarro Jenkins. Get a cat, a dog die alone. <laughs> he used to say that. He used to say that a lot, too. Like. Or, Oh, we got more. A Banks carried away, fellas. Need BM Media more now than ever. Mm-hmm. Black man. Like shout me. out. Man. And one more from Jay Gill. Just shout out to you. He, he ain't even want to say nothing. Shout out to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact, man. Yo, yo, what's goody though, man? What's up with y'all, man? How y'all doing, man? Chilling, man. How yo, you doing? First of all. Rest in peace to the guy Kevin Samuels, man. Like Rest in peace, to the guy. yo. This man taught me so much, yo. Like me and my girl used to watch him all the time. Like I found out about y'all show through his show. Mm-hmm. Y'all, Abin preach. Listen, the work that y'all are doing is 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 it's on such a level that y'all don't even realize man like y'all are really cha- like out here changing people's lives and like homie said before don't stop what y'all are doing like appreciate i really appreciate everything about y'all platform y'all set it up in a way that allows us to have real conversations because this is the shit we've been talking about for years bro every time right. every time we link you know what i'm saying we'd be like yo why 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 my girl you know what i'm saying and yeah, that's so sad. it's 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 difficult to have these conversations with them you know, at home or whatever, because they could just walk away. They could just like tune you out. It's Miss not, it, yeah, like you know what I mean, like, right? So we're never gonna really get anywhere. And I had these conversations a lot. Like, I was talking to this girl earlier, and um, because like I'll be on people's lives or whatever. You know, sometimes I might hop in somebody's live and have a conversation. Yeah. Um, and I was talking to this one girl about um 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 women being independent. And I was trying to tell her, like, listen, no man wants a woman who just sits on her ass and does nothing. Mm-hmm. Like, we want you to do things. You have to earn your place as his woman. But right. that doesn't mean that we want you to be us. Like, we don't want you to compete with us. And I had to give her, it was me and one other dude in the box that was trying to break it down to her. She just wasn't getting it. I was like, if you, if you have a man and you're always putting fucking gas in his car, he don't never got to pay for gas on one level. That's a nice thing to do. But on another level, that's being a man. That's a man shit. And she yeah. didn't and she didn't get it. And I'm like, listen, that doesn't mean that there aren't masculine things that you could do. 
but mm-hmm. it's when you're doing it, it's still being a man. And you have to understand the difference. Like, this is why you don't have one. And I ain't want to really take it there with Shorty, but <laughs> it's like, because that was the whole point of the conversation. She was just like, yeah, why yeah. do men do this? You know, I, I'm a good woman. I'll do that and I'll do this. And I was like, because you don't know what the hell we want. That's I was like, fact. when, when have you ever asked a man what he wants? Mm-hmm. Like, That's you have fact. to understand your value as a woman. You're the most priceless thing that we can have. Mm-hmm. There's no there's no greater gift that a man can have other than a woman because you can give us children. That's which, right. which 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 is how long money gets created. That's how generational wealth gets created. Yep, that's so you're the most you're the most valuable thing we can have. So there's nothing you could do to make me not fuck with you. But the reason why none of y'all have a man is because you make it so difficult. Like you know we want sex. Like I'm a I'm a I'm gonna get off after this. I just want to get this one thing clear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like society has has taught women that men are animals because we want pussy like you think we want to hurt our women like we really want to break our girl's heart by cheating on them and lying and sneaking Mm. no matter how much we love our women and i'm pretty sure all y'all can agree to this no matter how much we love our women it doesn't erase the desire to fuck other women Mm -hmm. we 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 wish it did but did like there's nothing we could do to, to, to get rid of that. So women have to understand that when they love us, it's because a lot of them don't have a choice. We are so charming or so, you know, whatever it is that draws them to us, they hate the fact that they love us, but they, they love us. It's, it's not a choice. They're like, I don't know what it is about him. I just love him. But when we love our women, it's not, it's not the same reason. Like, and that love that they have for us is why they stay with us. That's why they don't leave because they, they're just so drawn. They know they can't find another you. They know that they don't, you know, it's just a different construct for them. And that's why they won't leave. But for us, we won't leave because of a choice. It's not because of the undenying burning love we have for them, even though it's there, but that's not why I'm with you. I'm with you because I made a choice to make you my number one woman. You are, you are in my eyes better than the others. You're the woman I want to have kids with. You're one. You're who I want my legacy to be with. Like you're gonna be my main woman, but I still want to have sex with other women. That doesn't make me an animal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I get, I get, I get where you're coming from. Yeah. So I'm, I, I, you know I get saying? where you're coming from, but I think that that also comes down to about, um, you know, being able to control your desires too. Like you know what I mean? Because right. I, yeah. I get what you're saying. Like men, we we are like we physical creatures. Like you know, we are attracted to other women. But mm. you know, at some point when you when you do make that commitment, me personally, I feel like when you do make that commitment, you know, you got to be able to restrain yourself to a degree, a, a less of, you know, of you're course, shorty, you're absolutely shorty into that type of you know situation or whatever the case is. Like, you know what I mean? Absolutely, a hundred percent. And and don't you know? It's almost like 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 Kevin Samuel said. Don't don't be out here embarrassing your your, your family. Oh man, shorty calling you right now. Like yo, yeah, nah, that's my like, sister, yo, my girl right here. That's my sister. <laughs> um, but um, you know, it's like it's like Kevin Samuel said. Don't be out here embarrassing your family. Don't have nobody showing up at the crib. Don't have you know random children running around. Like there's there, there's rules to doing it, and. Yeah. Everybody, this is not for everybody, obviously. Like my girl's right here. She hears everything I'm saying. I don't, you know, I don't mess with I don't I don't mess with other women, but she understands my why I'm with her. Like, right. yeah, I love her. But she knows that if I turn and look at another chick or if I, you know, that she doesn't take that personal. She knows I'm, you know, that's just me being a man. You know, so she doesn't she doesn't turn who we are as people against us. And I right. think that's what a lot of women do that keeps us from really understanding one another. And until we yo, get past yo, yo, that, yo, shout out to her real quick, man. Like, yeah, yo, like my girl is the truth, man. Like I met her, I met her online, like, and she's listen, she's a a, a far cry above half the women out here. I got a beautiful. I saw a I see you, man. Good shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And she's the truth, bro. Like she's not argumentative. She's not loud. She's not. Like she got businesses going. She uh, she knows how to be a woman. Like I, I, I really like she found she being your piece, man. Like you know what I'm saying, like you know, we don't get that too much. We don't get that too often in our community. We don't get that piece that it's, we need, man. It's yeah. unfortunate. Samuels, huh? yo, King. 
But King, we're gonna let you go, man. We gotta get the other people. We appreciate right, yo, yo, I in, appreciate man. y'all, man. Have a good one. All right, bro. Yeah, let me shout out the super ch- yeah, he, he about to get some some neck tonight, man. She like, oh yeah, you shouted me out on the Delhi Rapper crew. Oh, <laughs> let me, let me yeah. shout out Jeremy Scott real quick. He said, let's keep the wave going, fellas. This is our chance to change the narrative. Shout out to you, bro. And, no, um, this is my favorite sneakers, by the way, Jeremy Scott Church. Mm-hmm. And B Fullerton Ross. He, he he said he said my bad y'all. I was typing too fast. No doubt, bro. Appreciate <laughs> nah, we you. Gonna, we gonna keep the blame on Ace. You know what I'm saying? It, it was it worked better that way. Facts, yo. Let me I, see. I, I am drinking. I mean, it's cool. <laughs> that yo, that that green tea getting to you, huh? Like you know what I'm saying, <laughs> wow. yo, we yo, I, I think yo, drink that, bro. My drink, that? my drink right here, nigga. The bottle of water. Right <laughs> Yo, I see I, yo real quick. I see everybody backstage, man. I'm probably I'm trying to get to everybody. I see, I see everybody, man. Like yo, yo, that, yo. yo see, my yo, guys, man. bro. I'm sorry. Oh my yo. guys, man. I appreciate y'all. Hey. Good. What's good, bro? Yeah, what's what's good? good? What's good? Hey man, I'm from B More, man. I, I watch y'all. I just subscribed. I um I be hesitant about subscribing to people for real. And I've been watching y'all for a minute. I got my uh my, my red boy here right here too. Yeah, shout yeah. out to Kevin Sanders, the god. I see you up there, Ace. Hey Eli, I want y'all to know, man. Look, you definitely the calm one out of the three of y'all. Mm-hmm. The, the, definitely the most calm. Ace, you're a wild boy. You definitely a wild boy. I want to let y'all know that. But yeah, man. I, the balance work out good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It definitely, it definitely do. And, and, and then y'all stop and y'all, you know, give each other the chance to speak. Everybody don't do that. Y'all mm-hmm. definitely do that. And I, I appreciate that. Definitely as a, a viewer watching y'all, man, it's like, it's like, oh, they got it together. Mm-hmm. They got it together. And, mm-hmm. and, and, it took me a while to subscribe because I hate subscribing to people. I swear to God. <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, uh, back 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 to my man KS, man. It 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 it, it hurt me down here because for the simple fact, bro. Um, I deal with some crazy females down here, man. Mm. I deal with crazy females. Everything y'all be talking about from the from the female and y'all a little younger than me, mm. and. I love what y'all doing, but it's it's not even a but. It's not even a but. Yeah. Matter of fact, yeah. it's um. It every- sounds like, sound like you saying we should come to. We need to come to Baltimore and, and do a show. I'm, try- I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get something. I'm trying to get something set up so we can do something <laughs> like that. But if if I gotta come up top, I'll come up top. But yeah. at the same at the same time, it's like when y'all was talking to the female and and she said the uh the thing about the. What she say? She was she was buying wigs with, um, oh, the child support. support. Right. I was over here. I was I was sitting. I was in the truck because I drive trucks. I'm sitting in the yeah. truck and I'm I'm like, she <laughs> is bugging. Like, if a guy, a lot, took, a lot of women agreeing with her though. That's the crazy part. Like. But if we took if we took money from our women and did what we wanted to do with it, and like we would we would be taking full advantage. Mm. And, they don't get outside of the argument. I had a I had a chick. She had a she had a kid. Me and her been together ten years. She had a kid by another dude, expecting me to just go along with it. Mm. But I mean, you got really to that situation, boy. Man, what? Being in a manosphere and and watching you guys, watching KS, and watching how we we need to appreciate ourselves and 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 do better. For yeah. ourselves and focus on ourselves and build ourselves up and and let everything come to us because it's like 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 it's been said we've been programmed to chase after them follow their footsteps and you know bow you know bow down cow tow to our women for real right. they don't and when you act and we and and y'all I saw y'all do this a lot of times before y'all say oh well, what do you bring to the table. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know they hate that question. Like mm-hmm. they say the tape. What, what the other? What the I, one I, girl say? I hate. I hate when guys say that. It be Ooh. a bunch of broke guys asking. Like, <laughs> it ain't got nothing to do with being broke. It's like, all right, boom. If I got the, if if I already built the table, woman, what are you gonna add on top of it? Are you gonna put a? Are you gonna put a? 
you know, some 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 dressing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gonna fill that thing out? You feel me? You yeah. not gonna do none of that. Yeah. If you're not gonna do no, no, they what? remember they are the table. They are the table. That's what they. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so we got so so we got two tables in the dining room. Like what we gonna do with two tables? <laughs> <laughs> Taking up space, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, but yeah. yo, that, yo, and, and my and my partner, and my partner down here, he called me. He told he he told me he said, well, he asked me. He said, what are we gonna do now, bro? Who we got left now? Yeah. And I, you know. At the time, I didn't really have an answer for him because I'm thinking, like, I wake up in the morning before I get out and leave the work. Like, you know, KS used to post Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Mm-hmm. I get up the Tuesday morning and watch his Monday jump. Mm-hmm. I get up the Thursday morning and watch his Wednesday jump, Friday, mm-hmm. and so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. And now it's like... We got to carry the torch, bro. We just got to keep the message going for real. And yeah, like I said, he, he he opened that door for real, and he helped bring a lot of people into this community. And now we got these spaces to really have these conversations and to uplift each other. Because one thing I learned from Kevin, bro, is just like, yo, black men, we got to support each other, man. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We, we too busy. I mean, I know you see it in B more. We too busy killing each other, fighting each other. We definitely, man, we definitely. I was just, I was just, other, I was just grabbing my red ball at the spot just now. And I seen an older dude in there, and he was dressed to the T, like he was from Harlem or somewhere up there. You feel me? And I was mm-hmm. like, man, you that jacket on, you know, that's clean right there. Mm-hmm. But you just, it's just the little things we got to do for each other to make us realize we're not all against each other. We're not all bad people. Once right. we come together, once we come together as guys, dudes, men, gentlemen, whatever the case may be. They'll, they'll, they, they're gonna take notice at the end of the day. You feel me? It, it just seemed like we gotta be, we gotta have that chip on our shoulder to, to actually, you know, bring their attention to us. And mm-hmm. a lot of us don't want to, you know, necessarily have to go through that. I mean, a younger crowd of dudes that's coming up. They, I'm gonna let y'all go, <laughs> but the younger crowd of dudes that's coming up, they gotta, they got a better, they got a better shot because. When I was back in school and stuff like that, you either was the tough guy, or you was the or or, or you was the sports player or something like that. Mm-hmm. You couldn't be the you couldn't be the smart guy. You couldn't be the intelligent guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to be. We was in a box. Yeah. Right, right, right. They put us in a box, but we can't really. And and shout out to all my black women out there because we definitely love y'all. And I mean, if y'all understand. That we don't understand all the things that y'all say in every particular moment. Mm. It's not because we're not trying. It's because we think on a we think like guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, hey, hey, bro, I appreciate y'all letting me on. Yeah, yeah we, yo, we got a, we got a live stream coming up on Sunday too, man. We're gonna just talk about whatever, man. So if you got free time, pull up on Sunday too. Hey, yeah. man, I appreciate y'all. Hey, Ace, them jokes, bro. Them shits be having me dying. He did the thing with that. He say, "What?" <laughs> yeah, hey, man, I appreciate, uh, man, gang, gang, man. appreciate that, bro. Yo, thanks for calling in, bro. <laughs> I hold you. Another thing, Kevin Samuels did for us is like a lot of black men feel comfortable talking to each other. Like, I mean, I grown up. How often did you greet another dude that was walking around? You just ice grill him and walk past. You get what I'm saying? Like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, a, with the man of spare and with the man you know, on these channels, we yeah. feel free to, you know, compliment another dude. Oh, I like this. Or how you doing today? Or whatever it is. Yeah. I mean, it's one step closer to, you know, making us uh, successful. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 What I hear a lot of What's going on, bro? What's going on? How y'all doing? Yo, yo, you, got, you got YouTube in the background? Uh, no, sir. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, so, yeah. To, I'm, I'm gonna take the back again. The feedback is crazy. crazy. So I'm, I'm, yeah. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, yo, yo, real quick, shout out AKs and curtains. Sent the super chat in. I mean, shout out to you, Brody. Thanks for supporting. How about now? Is it still bad? Oh yeah, yo, yo. Yo. Nah, yeah, it's better. It's better. Yeah, it's way better. Yeah, way better. All right, cool, cool, cool. Is also, it? uh, oh, damn, yo, so uh. Oh, damn, yeah. Kevin Samuels, uh, rest in peace. Yeah, um, to the brother. 
Uh, I want to say you guys are doing fantastic work. Mm-hmm. Uh, I tune into the show whenever I can and watch the replays. Uh, uh, you guys a- ask those com- uncomfortable conversations and um, start conversations and bring things to light that I think a lot of the, especially the young ladies, haven't either heard or don't necessarily uh, agree with or think they even the way the men feel. So I think it's a good uh, way to bring some of those conversations to light. Mm-hmm. Appreciate, that. Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. But um, I want to say this, and it may have been said before because I came in a little late, but uh, just to speak to, there's a lot being said about how Kevin Samuels' tone is. But one of the things that, um, if you watch Kevin Samuels enough from start to finish, him being a salesman, he'd always say it too. He matches energy. Mm-hmm. If you be nice to me, I'll be nice to you. But he had low, low tolerance for people speaking yeah. badly or bad faith messages about black men. Mm-hmm. He, he had a very low tolerance for it. And it uh, from there, things just really got off the rails because, you know, you look back, um, the majority of his lives were civil, good conversations. There were disagreements. But as soon as somebody said something that was really out of line, especially about black men, some of the things that have been said for many, many years that are actually in a lot of cases are hurtful, or in some cases dangerous to black men. He just had no tolerance for it. And um, I think that's one. Well, I know that's one of the reasons why he was very, very successful, because he was a voice and was willing to go out there and take the uh, be the, you know, take all the, the hits and, and everything from everybody to speak up and stand up for black men. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely. And, um, you know, when's the last time we had a, a advocate for black men? Never. Who, never. We never had one. Not only was he an advocate, but he dressed the part. He looked the part. He spoke well. Uh, he embodied all the things that um, most would say, hey, is a respectable black man. And um, even though uh, a lot of his messages were chopped and screwed and put together to uh, to make things look um, in a bad light that actually in a lot of cases were not true. Man, if you took the time to actually watch, engage, and listen, you actually came away with something more lo- often than you didn't. And um, man, it's just, it's, 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 I think it's a shame, you know, sometimes I think, unfortunately, and excuse me for saying this, but it's like he, he worked himself to death. You guys know how much it takes to put together a show, how to mm-hmm. get a show. And this guy can get up in the morning, do live one-on-ones with people in real time, take mm-hmm. care of business in the afternoons, and then do lives at night until sometimes one to two o'clock in the morning and get right back up and do it. And did that straight for two years, five and six days a week. I mean, that's working. And at his age, I think that really paid, played a part. But uh, I don't want to speculate, but we want to just want to say I appreciate you guys. Keep doing the work that you're doing uh, and starting those conversations, having those conversations and, um, uh, you know, just making your contributions because, you know, it's, it's really, really needed. And everybody, all of us, the whole world kind of uh, will the whole world benefits when men, especially black men, are appreciated and also uh, are given the space to be able to talk freely and have conversations that have a uh, have a meaning. Yeah, appreciate you taking that, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So y'all have yourselves a good night, and thank y'all for doing this. And y'all take care now. All right, bye, bro. Yeah. Got the old G yeah. in the building, man. Like, yeah, I ain't want to say too much because it's echoing, but yeah, exactly, uh, how, yeah. how you, bro. I ain't huh? I said I didn't want to say too much because echoing, but shout out to him, man. Yeah, yeah, now yeah, he was saying some real shit, man. But like I said, Kevin had a he had an impact on a lot of people, man. And like I said, people was too wor- busy worried about his tone, and mm-hmm. you know they wasn't really listening to the message. He, like I said, he was very much about the unity of black men and black women, and mm-hmm. people was just you know focused on the tone, and they wasn't trying to hear the message. Mm-hmm. Um, I know it's getting you know it's getting a little late. We got a couple more people, man. We're gonna try to get to everybody before we hop off this. Let's see. Yo, TK, yo. Y'all hear me? Yeah, we hear you. What's good? What's good? What's yeah, good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Mm-hmm. I'm actually uh I'm actually a brother from the south. You dig? I'm actually from Dallas, Texas, but I've been rocking with y'all NYC boys a long way. Mm-hmm. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. 
Appreciate yeah, you. No we gotta come. We gotta come to Dallas for real. I ain't gonna hold you. Word. Uh, yeah, that's facts. That's facts. But no, I got a. I got a little. I have a short story about how Kevin Samuels helped me, but also about um, <clears throat> some of the things, some of the ideas that he put forth that definitely improved my life. So, uh, my background is like I'm a, actually a fourth year medical student. I'm going to be a physician next year, and <clears throat> there was a time. Yeah, I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Got to stay in the books, but. There was a time and when they, I was, and uh, they act like black men don't black men like you don't exist, man. We not educated out here, man. Doing getting, uh, doing the work, man. Like you know what I mean? Oh no, bro. I be I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I be killing the game out here. Like I, I'm like six three. <laughs> I'm like ripped. I'm like two forty five. So <laughs> it's just like <laughs> I just get chicks out the way I look. When they find out I'm a doc, it's like it's over mm-hmm. with. You feel me? Yeah, that is. <laughs> he fucking all the women at the hospital. Man. No, no, bro. I don't, I don't have to, I don't he have keep it professional, you, man. You gotta keep it professional. Yeah, bro. can't see where you. But I, no, I laid off that. You know what I'm saying? I got a chick now. You know what I'm saying? But oh, okay. no, I'm gonna tell y'all the story. Okay. I was uh, like, there was a time where I was struggling, and during my third year, I was on um a few difficult rotations, and I ended up performing very poorly. And I was going through a lot of issues. Like my old man got locked up. You know what I'm saying? Family members getting COVID left and right. And I actually was like, damn, I don't really know what to do. And Kevin kept talking about, I ain't therapy this, therapy that. You know what I'm saying? I was like, you know what? I'm just going to give this shit a try. And I did it for like six months, eight months, something like that. And it ended up being great for me. You know what I'm saying? I, I took all my – the retakes I had to take. I got A's on all the retakes. I, I got A's on all the next few exams that I had to deal with. I passed my first board exam. I, I got a scholarship for like 25K because of my academic performance. Yo, that's dope, so man. It was like – it was like if he didn't like destigmatize like therapy in my mind, yeah. I probably I would probably be in a very different position. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And then on top of that, you know what I mean? I was out here doing my dirt. So I was like, you know, I got to the point to where I was like, okay, I'm getting tired of this shit, but I don't really know how to, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how you get so used to like sleeping with a certain number of women that it's hard to just go in back to being monogamous and yeah, shit. Yeah, like, exactly. after, after listening to him, I was like, Oh, I'm gonna cut this shit out. So I actually came up with this thing called a relationship writing scale. So like when I meet chicks, I had a scale to like to where like based on my behavior, the way they look, education, etc., mm-hmm. I would get them a certain rating, and then it would determine it would help me determine whether or not this was a chick I'm gonna stick with or a chick I'm mm-hmm. not gonna stick with. And so mm-hmm. I, I I was using that too, and uh, it, it it worked out really favorably. Yeah, that that sounds like that sounds like a productive scale, man, because it's more yeah. than just like looks. So you taking into I'm pretty sure there's a lot of things that you take into consideration. You know what I mean? And that yeah. sounds like that sounds like a productive uh, like scale that we need to utilize more, man. You might have to patent that or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I was gonna I was gonna I was gonna write a book about it <laughs> under a pseudonym type shit, but yeah. You know what I mean? Just 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 to talk about it a little bit. Like honestly, he's the one who kind of made monogamy more appealing to me and, and it has improved my like performance, focus in life and things of that nature. So I do appreciate that. But basically it's like I take into account looks, like femininity, attitude, things of that nature, you know, education to a much lesser degree, a level of promiscuity, and then I also take into whether or not I count a girl has, you know, children or whatever. Me personally, I would never date a woman with a child. You know, that's not really my thing, but I don't knock brothers who do choose to do that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's that's and, 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 you know, that, and that's your preference, man. You got a right to have that preference, man. And it's okay to have that preference. So you know what I mean? Yeah. So you know, I'm tired yeah. of women trying to shame men into being forced to be with the tolerate certain preferences. Not a way the same way women got preferences, you know, men are allowed to have preferences too. Like, you know what I mean? So that's, that's mm-hmm. nice. And it's like and for me, like you gotta think about this, dog. It's like, you know, I sacrificed I stayed in school all these years, you know what I mean, 18 to 22, 22 to 26. I took a year of research, and I still got three more years of residency, and I'm going to get an MBA after that. It's like, you know, to earn a certain salary, to be able to live in my purpose. And it's like, do I really want to, you know, take all the things I've invested to become successful and to someone who really hasn't done the same level of investment into themselves? You know, that's kind of how I look at it. Like, mm-hmm. you took a certain level of risk that I, you know, cho- chose to avoid for a variety of reasons. Mm-hmm. And therefore, it's not a wise investment for me to put my assets, knowledge, you know, energy, emotion, time. You see, you see, on this person, what you becoming is a high value man, and what you <laughs> and what you saying right now is what high value man want. <laughs> yo, pre talk your shit, bro. Yo, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying you work and hard. I, you know where you at? Talk your shit, bro. That's it. And I ain't gonna hold you like if you if you like and if you I I, I kind of wish people could be my chick you know what I'm saying but I'll be trying to you know what I'm saying put on the internet like like, like that but you know what I mean if people did see her they would see why you mm-hmm. know I picked her versus 
you know, every all the other options I had. You know what I mean? Right. Like <laughs> it's not like if you if you see it, bro. I'm telling you, it, 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 it'll blow your mind, type shit. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, we, we, uh, we live on Sunday. Bring it on. <laughs> oh no, nah, I, I might say y'all my grandma shit like that, but not. Nah, <laughs> nah, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> you know but nah, I appreciate y'all boys. Y'all keep doing y'all thing. Bro, you know, appreciate, appreciate you for pulling up, man. Yo, you man, salute, too, man, man. And, and keep doing the work, man. Appreciate Word. that, man. Keep yeah, doing y'all boys be easy. All right. Yeah, shout out to TK, man. Young black man doing his thing, man. That's a Yo, fact. lady had a question for you, King. Nah, I'm I'm single, you heard? Oh, she trying to she trying to she trying to hop in a DM, man. What's up, buddy? Yeah, okay. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yeah, what's see, up, guys? What's quick, up? I, I see everybody back say I'm trying to get to y'all. I'm promise there's a lot of y'all back say I'm trying to get to everybody. I appreciate everybody for being patient. Because I know I, there's a couple of y'all that's been in there for a minute. But we're going to try to get to everybody. Yo, what's up, guys? Hey, man, I just want to tell you guys I love what you guys are doing, man. I have a 23-year-old son, man, that uh, works Forex. And uh, it surprised me this kid made $8,000 within 15 minutes. Ooh. And so um, I'm, I'm loving this, this, this new connection uh-huh. that black men are sharing with each other. And especially with the youth meeting the elders. The older and then and youth. That's the one thing that I'll say that KS brought together was the older with the youth mixed together and then common sense being brought into the middle of it. Um, guys, I, I want to relate to um, a show that I saw you guys doing one time on your TikTok with you saying something about his mother um, and how um, he was raised and how he uh, he ended up going to auntie. And I, I can't remember the exact uh, transference of your stories, you, but mm-hmm. uh, you were saying the abuse and the situation you went through. And there's so many black men that have gone through abuse. Me, myself, I grew up with a mother that was married to a white man that called us niggas and, and, and didn't take care of us, sent us off to our auntie. And I could, I could definitely agree with, sorry, we're not that. getting, go ahead. No, I said, sorry, you had to go through that. Oh no, man. But, but I went through therapy and, and, and got through that. And yeah. so, I was I was identifying with that man because there's so many brothers that go through that and don't have a platform or way to express those feelings out to uh, women. And and I'm sick of the story of, you know, listen to all women, listen to all women. And we're not talking about the football players that's going to prison for uh, uh, great and they didn't do it. But there's no consequences. Yeah, for that yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, there's no consequences. Uh, the 35 percent of of men that are taking care of kids that are not their own and they use all their resources for years. But there's no consequences for those women. Mm-hmm. So one thing that KS did bring out was he's showing that here it is. People like uh, hold on. I brought my list, man. People like uh, Gordon Ramsay, Tucker Carlson. Howard Stern, Simon Cowell, Joe Rogan can all say what they want unequivocally. Right. And then here it is, is that Kevin Samuels, a black man, comes out and starts holding our group, our group alone, accountable for each other. Right. And here it is, we'll we'll denigrate him and stop him from saying anything, but won't march to stop the other ones that are saying the exact same thing, if not worse. But we didn't see none of y'all doing that. Now, that's another. One. Here's another good, good clip. This is not the first time that a death has been celebrated. About a month ago, the little boy that got killed by the white girl that stabbed him. They went back to this guy's Twitter account 10 years back. Mm -hmm. This boy said this 10 years back when he was a kid. And of course, when you're a kid, you're going to say some crazy shit. Okay? But you went back on I know know you're talking about. Yeah, I know you're talking about. Yeah, they went back on this guy's account 10 years ago ago, and said that he hates black women. Who cares about his death? And they did the same thing they did to KS. What I'm saying is we got a group of terroristic females in the black community, and we have to separate black women from the hyenas that we got out here, the new modern day hyenas that are out here that are, are, are tearing up the community and claiming they're black women. No, we, we can't allow them to be in the same space as our grandmothers and uh, notable black women who are doing the job that they need to do in the community and notable black men. Mm-hmm. In, my, in my book, man, Kevin was a great guy. He did mm-hmm. what he was supposed to do. He fulfilled his purpose. You guys are doing a great job, man. That's all I wanted to say, man. Yeah, man. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. And you hey, gotta man, hey, guys. 
And do me a favor, man. Check out Celebrity. Uh, she's on Instagram, man. The girl that uh, holds those holds uh, men, uh, women accountable. I, I, I follow her. Obviously, yeah, yeah. Her. Check yeah. her out, man. Bigger, bigger up, man. I just came off her podcast earlier today, man. But yeah. bigger up, man. I got, I got my own. Um, but I, I want you guys to check her out, man, and send some people her way because she's she's getting tired of being boxed in by these these uh, uh, hyenas, I call them, and and they're trying to stop her from calling out bullshit. Yeah, let me guess, let me yeah. guess they calling her a pick me and all types of yeah, crazy yeah, things. man, yeah. man, go out, y'all guys, go out and support yo, her. Yo, man. Yo, 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 plug your um, plug your podcast real quick. So you got a podcast, right? So you can oh, that. Black Knights Talk podcast on YouTube, uh, mm -hmm. on TikTok. Check me out, man, guys. And uh, I'm getting ready to start back. I started last summer, man. We're we're uh, restarting up again. So check us out, man. I'm going to continue pumping you guys, man. You guys be blessed. Appreciate, Appreciate that, that, man. You. Appreciate that. Yo, let me shout out Jack Jack Daniels, you heard? <laughs> Jack Daniels. You said well, you no, 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 we ain't getting no sponsorship from them. Don't put that on the, put that on the screen. <laughs> right? yeah. what, when the crew season collab happening? Yo, shout out to Crew Season, man. I, I I see them, man. They put in the work too. They got some good content over there, man. I love to see you know black men, you know, in this space, mm. you know, having these conversations, man. And shout out to them, yeah. man. I, yeah, I don't know, know what that's gonna man. happen, yeah, honestly, yeah, but yeah, I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not opposed to it, man. Yo, go to their comment section and tell them to set that up, man. Yeah, word. Let me see who we got up. Oh, my fault, my fault. Let me. Yo, oh. yo, yo, you looking down, JJ? Yeah, oh, what's up, man? I ain't know. I was just sitting. I was sitting in the cut, waiting, man. Yeah, like, man. Like, I, just, I just got out of work, man. I just got out of work. My little part time gig, man. I'm, I'm a blue collar worker, man. man shout uh, out to you, bro. Blue collar, man. Blue collar. I'm, I'm a welder, and I just got a little promotion to a supervisor. So, oh I'm man, good. shout out to you, man, doing the work, yeah, man. Too, bro. Yeah, putting in that work, man. Just like K. Samuel said, but I, I came into the manosphere in like 2017 through uh, AMS. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was following him. He helped me out a lot. And that's how I found like all the other um, you know, I guess uh content creators in a in a manosphere space. Right. And be, you know, during that time it was like real underground, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, yeah. I just I, I saw Kevin Samuels, but I'm like, man, he got a suit on. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to relate to him. <laughs> but then I started watching his videos, and then he was talking about like fashion and fragrances and like people don't know, like his first four years, he was just really dealing with men and doing the CIA and telling men to get your stuff together. Right. He'd be putting in, putting in those hours, man, and like just really like uplifting the black man image and say, hey, you know, you belong here too. And like his video, like one of his good videos he did was things your your dad should have taught you. Mm. Like that was a um like a powerful video, man. I just like and I had um. Yeah, I think no, I know I'm kind of rambling, but um, yeah, I just when I found out, I was like, dang, I was devastated. I didn't even know him personally, but I just felt like, damn, that was messed up. But yeah, yeah. it was like, if somebody told you you had two years to live, like, what would you do? Yeah, yeah. And I just felt like during those two years, like he when he rose up and became popular, like he did a lot within two years, like yeah. really, really shifted the whole like you know um YouTube space for the black sector. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He 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 worked like honestly. He worked like he was on borrowed time, man. And yeah, like, and like, um, one of the, the callers said, man, he was live streaming every other day yeah, yeah. consistently, man. Like you know what I mean? Always putting out content. He was on every Instagram day. live streaming, like, and you know he they um the one of the callers made a reference about the the drinking a Red Bull, and that's probably why he did need the energy because he was working so hard, man. Like, he got. Bro, like I said, I don't know if y'all watch Atlanta. He on, he about to be on the next episode of Atlanta. Dude was out here working, like you know what I mean. He was really about to go. Yeah. Big. He was already. They got, they got they got healthier like um energy drinks though, like alternatives. So, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. People don't know, but they do have more holistic natural. Yeah, but yeah, not yeah. to cut you off though, bro. Like, but yeah, yeah I, I found yeah. you guys too, man. I think you guys are like real cool, and I watch all your content. I follow y'all on um Instagram and Appreciate on subscribe on here, and I think y'all kind of like. Y'all like, I guess, like the up and coming, like new kind of different, like the F and F show, Fresh and Fit. I think you guys are like kind of like similar to them too, but y'all podcast is different. Yeah, Big yeah. up to y'all. Good we topics, not, man. Y'all got good topics, good content, man. And like, it was just like, like messed up that he passed away because I felt like he had so much more to do. And yeah. he was, he was really helping black men out. Like, I know a lot of people want to get on the 
he was bashing black women, but I'm like, if he was putting out hate speech, they would have been took his page down because you know social media doesn't allow that. You know what I'm saying? They they don't play no nothing. So how did how did this man how did this man be on there for two years? People sending him money, YouTube. They would have been red flagged him and took his page, Instagram. So I'm like, he wasn't putting out hate speech. Just telling the truth, and I guess women couldn't handle self uh you know accountability. All that stuff. He was just telling what, like he said, what men been saying for the past 40 years. Mm-hmm. And now we finally I mean, got that's what he been saying. You know, to actually talk about it. And that's why his platform was so crazy because it was men being able to resonate with what he was saying and the experiences and the women that he was talking to. These were women that we were having in our day to day lives. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so whether it was a shorty with five baby daddies with five kids talking about she deserved X, Y, and Z. Those are the women that we was meeting in the, in the real world, like you know what I mean. Yeah. So, you know, shout out to Kevin Samuels, man. He, we, mm. we gonna we gonna definitely. I want to the goat, man. He gonna be missed. We gonna and, uh, keep the conversation going for him, and we gonna keep working together. And I'm glad that black men are able to have these spaces, and now we could finally work together, man, and stop looking at each other like we enemies, man. We gotta come together and, and actually support each other, man. Mm-hmm. Like, so. Thanks for calling. Net, net, networking, networking, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah just you calling in, man. All right, man. Y'all have a good night. Peace and love. Yo, too, too. Boy. Yo, real quick before we get into the um the next one. Shout out to Ra1381. Always stop to check you guys out. Keep up the grind. And your shows are cool. RIP Kevin Samuel. Shout out to you. Right, what, I wanted, what I wanted to say is, yo, imagine if he knew he was on borrowed time and this is what he chose to do. Like, that just makes yeah. it so much powerful, bro. Like, yo, you on borrowed time and this is what you chose to do. Because mm-hmm. you want to make the black community that much better, you know what I mean? Like that's that's just that's just crazy to think about. I mean, yeah, a lot of people if they on borrowed time, you know, you know, you go travel the world, you know what I mean? You gonna see new places. Shit. This is what he chose to do, man. So that's shout a fact. Out. That's a fact. Shout out to yeah, we, we got we got a couple of more people, man. We appreciate y'all for rocking out with us. What time is this? Like it's what ten thirty over here it's on the 10:30 east coast. It's early, man. Let's go. Yeah, yeah now we got a couple of more people. Let me see. Yo, King Rodney, was good? I don't know, you probably felt Yo. There's another super chat there, King. Peace. All right, well, King, you probably fell asleep. I ain't going to front. He was, he was <laughs> back speech for a minute. Yo, shout, shout out to I ain't tricking, man. Yo, it ain't tricking if you got it yet. <laughs> shout yo, to yo, Will the Dawn, yo. Yeah. <laughs> My, my son just oh, did that real quick, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo. <laughs> What's good, bro? How you doing? Oh, we there good. watching uh, Moon Knight. All oh, crazy, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, Moon Knight's decent, though. I ain't gonna hold you. Moon Knight's decent. Uh, so, yeah. what would you say, Um, what you want to say real quick about, you know, Kevin Samuels and his content? Like, what his content meant for you, I guess, is the question. Man, shout out to Kevin Samuels. Let me take this. I look like a whole... Female, <laughs> they go body gang, body gang. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nah, man. Shout out to him for real, for real. I ain't gonna lie, like I had a whole different mindset be- before. Like I was, I was on Fresh and Fit, but then they turned weird. But that's just, you know what I'm saying. A story for another time. But then I'm saying, then they pushed me to Kevin Samuels, and then they pushed me to y'all. They pushed me to Abbott and Priest. They pushed me to, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then I felt like, I was like, oh, snap, this is liking what he's talking about. Like, I ain't even think about that for real. Like, I ain't think about, oh, yeah, like, if I'm doing most of the work and, like, just because she pretty, like, I'm, like, accepting that. Like, nah, that's not enough, like, for real, like. Mm-hmm. I do something more for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a fact, though. So, what would you say your most memorable moment? I guess of Kevin Samuels, like, yo, it was, it was dead when he was like talking to this one guy, and then he was like, "All right, but like, how, like, he was like, yeah, I'm making like, like, he was like, how much you make? He's like, like forty thousand. He was like, all right, but okay, so how tall are you? He was like five five. 
Yeah. Hey, hey, he, he said, he said, yo, you, you got a big dick? <laughs> yeah, he was like, you got a big dick. <laughs> he was like, what does that mean? Yeah. You know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, big dick, nigga. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's some shit your pops would say to you if you ain't got this shit. You're like, yo, you ain't yeah, thinking yeah. that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's you real. Know, yeah, that, yeah, so then. That, 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 was, that shit was so real because a lot of people... A lot of people would be afraid to say shit like that. Like, you got a big dick? Like, oh, what, what, what you mean? What you asking me if yeah, I got like, a big what dick? What type of time? Like, That's how like, hey, yo. Yeah. Oh, that's like coming from your uncle. If your uncle said that shit, you like, yo, uncle, you wildin', but you still gonna yeah, you be like, I'm saying yo. short he, he, The same way we be speaking from what men want, He's speaking from he know what women want, you feel me? So exactly. it's like, yo, you don't got this, you don't got that, you don't got that. What you got to offer, you feel me? Exactly. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. Now yo. he kept he kept it a mean though. I ain't gonna hold that's you. That's a fact, man. Yeah, so then him him saying that though, it just like made me think like I need to like accomplish more in my life. I'm only what I'm only 24 right now, but still like mm-hmm. I gotta like get to a certain level before I even focus on girls because they always gonna be there. Mm-hmm. So like you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build me as a man up, so that way I could actually like, if I do enter a relationship or whatever, I, I marriage, I'm going like I'm saying she's gonna respect me. Cause like I, know what I'm saying like I, I built myself here. I'm not taking no disrespect. You well it like <laughs> move the left. There's another one right there. Like you well it. The more so, you build yourself, the more options will come, bro. That's that's you that's right. You, you gotta work on yourself, man. Like right. we, yeah. that's the message we all learned from Kevin Samuels, man. Right. So. Hell yeah. Yeah, Shout out to you, man. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for calling in, man. I know you you was yeah. waiting for a minute, man. I'm glad you yeah. you know you had patience, man. You can, you can, you can I, like I said, back. Moon Knight had me. <laughs> yeah, Moon, Knight, that, Moon Knight is hard, though. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah. All right, bro. All right, dude. All right well, appreciate All you, man. Yeah, but nah, that's that's a fact though. And and yeah. just to go back real quick about um, you know, the therapy, like, you know what I mean? He preached therapy as well. Like, we need that therapy in our community, man. Like, for yeah. real, like, you know what I mean? So, let me see what we got real quick. We got crack music. Crack music? Yo, I'm nice right now. I ain't gonna lie, man. What's up? What's good? Yo, yo, what's good? You hear me? Yeah. I'm yo, when I, see, when I see your name, all I'm I think good. about that games. Wait, was it game or Kanye? I don't know. I think that was Kanye's song with Game fe- featuring Game, Crack Music. That's that Crack Music, that real rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was off that. I think that was off Kanye album. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I yeah, think Dipset yeah. had a song called Crack Music, too. Yeah, I don't know, but like. Yeah. Where, you, where you come up with that name, man? Uh, I'm from Friends. So it's an acronym for, yeah. for, my, for my first name, name, and, you know, some of the stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, shout, out to, shout out to you. Yeah. Shout out to friends, bro. Word, like, you know what I'm saying? Word. I was going to say to y'all. French shit, but it was going to sound Paul, so I ain't even going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but yeah, real quick, man, what you want to say about, about Kevin Samuels, man? Was, was he big over there in, in France? You currently in France? Yeah, I'm in Paris right now. Okay, okay. What was, did he, what was his yeah. influence over there in, 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 in Paris, man? Well, I knew a couple, of, you know, a couple of my friends that knew him, but they didn't really speak English, so they didn't really understand what he what he really meant uh, throughout these videos, and they didn't really, you know, watch the four hour shows and the two hour shows and stuff like that. Right. But I did, <clears throat> and you know, shout out to his family, condolences to to his daughter, to ex wife, mother, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, share my share my piece, you know. Um, Kevin Samuels, you know, he, he used to uh, turn the switch on for, for for a lot of black men, you know. Like um, growing up, I didn't really used to think that um, we we were the prize. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always thought that women were the prize. We had to, you know. Uh, make sure they're happy, make sure they're everything. And I remember one show he was talking about average men <clears throat> and uh, the importance of, of, you know, men in general in society. Mm-hmm. And he was talking about, like, what if uh, men disappeared? What would you do? How would you, you know, run the power? How would you, you know, run the, right. the water system and stuff like that? Mm-hmm. And I remember <laughs> women being stuck, not 
being able to explain mm. how they, you know, continue to survive in this world without us. Makes and I was like, scenario. yeah. So I was like, so we the prize actually. We 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 actually the one who who make the world go round. We we actually the builders. We actually the you know everything. Mm-hmm. So that was a big thing for me. And uh, and yeah, he was talking to men too. I, I came I came to to his content through AMS. I don't know if you knew about yeah. this guy. Yeah. And and uh, one thing I like about them is like they always uh, teach us that. We had to improve ourselves as men first before you know we get to the women and we we try to you know settle down and stuff like that. We had mm-hmm. to you know improve ourselves. That's so that's what it is. Yeah. But shout out to him and RIP rest in power for him. And well, appreciate well, we appreciate you for calling yeah. in, man. All the way. Yeah, real quick, real quick. What time is it over? There? I was I was going to ask that too. That's oh. crazy. Uh, it's four thirty-five in the morning. Yo. Wow. Yo, yeah, yo, we appreciate you, man. That's dedication right there, man. Out, bro, and calling in, bro. That's, that's love, bro. That's love. Appreciate, appreciate that, man. Yeah. All right. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all. Oh, my God. Oh. I, I didn't mean to do I swear to God, I didn't mean to do that, bro. Like, my Damn. Yo, bro. Damn. Bro. All the way from Prince, my nigga. You ain't got to no bro. I swear to God, I didn't. Yeah. I did not do that yeah. on purpose. Yeah. Like, okay. I, okay, music. Sorry about that, bro. Bro, it I hovered crazy. over it, bro. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. Yo, I, I got I got the exit. I got the exits from now. Man. I, <laughs> I hovered over it, bro. It was that on purpose? Your life. Yeah, yeah, Eight, two, three. Yeah, hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yo, y'all can hear me? Yes, yeah, sir. Yo, shout out to all of y'all. Do I gotta put my joint in the, in, the, in the screen pause? Like, I gotta come in the, come in the joint. I can't just say a little right quick because I, I right, watch you, y'all. I saw you on the live. Yeah. Now, yeah, and you I could, recently you lost could, somebody. Right. I, yo, listen, listen. I lost somebody in the files just trying to have a, you know, a little conversation about about Kevin Samuels because, like, he had a, such a big impact in our community for real, for real. So, first and foremost, shout out to y'all for having a discussion. You know, rest in peace to Kevin Samuels, his family, all of that. You know what I'm saying? Because we're speaking about him. You know what I mean? We got to remember that man has family and all types of, you know, right. and he just passed away. In a, in a crazy kind of way, which I think, I don't want to get too conspiracy theory, but, like, uh, he just died like that. Like, for real, for real. Like, Kevin Samuels just, like, died, like, for real. But, yeah. think it was boom. Some foul, you um, think it was some foul play in there? Um, I feel like, yo, it got to be, though. Like, mm. like for real. It, it, it just it just got to be. Like, I've been there. Like, I don't know his health situation. Like, as far as, like, you might put on some good beats or whatever, pause. Like, I mean, you got that little heart. Like, you might feel like that little heart attack. You got to take a... Drink of water and take a, you know what I mean? A little yeah. deep breath or something, catch your breath, yeah. you try to play it off in front of shorty and all that. But you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, in his age, I don't know if he was doing too much, but still, I don't want to, the man pass. I don't really want to, you know, yeah, build yeah. on that. But like different things that I uh, used to watch Kevin Samuels for, first and foremost, I'm not going to lie, it was strong, a lot of strong information that he put forth, but. A lot of it was comedy, though, too, as well, because I've already knew for a long time that a lot of females are delusional, just how they approach a lot of different things. So, you know, trying to have logical conversations with females is sometimes like a whole waste of time. It's like you can't even really do that and, and break it to them like that unless they're ready, you know, to take that matrix sort of pill. So it's it's, it's just going to end up in a conflict. So you got to, you know, know how to talk to females a certain, a certain time, which he wasn't even trying to you know, pamper them in that type of way. He was just giving it to them raw and 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 straight up because the Bible does say brimstone and fire. So, you know, I like that type of message. That's always been my style, real. Yeah. Never lied to women. That was my thing. So, you know, to see these women have all of this disdain for him, but yet still, like, when you watch the little stream or whatever and to see all of the women at ease and at attention waiting to speak to him ever so patiently, but you still want to kind of try to come on. I used to love it was like pure comedy to me. I used to yeah, love it. He was, he was just definitely to see women at attention. Man. It was entertaining. Uh, I'm gonna very hold much so. You for that nigga to fuck up so they could talk about it and brag. Right. That, that just just crazy. I was on Kevin Samuels, you know, and they feel like they was gonna really crack him and, and break him down, but it never worked. And yeah. a lot of things too, another thing too, as well, even when you know a lot of females had a lot of different situations, and sometimes that man would really pause think about what he was going to say for a couple of seconds and then respond to him. I used to love that too as well. He'd think 
and use a lot of different words that even myself, because I'm a word connoisseur, I would have to Google myself and look up a couple of words like, okay, what does yeah. that mean right quick? You know what I'm saying? In a conversation with a few, and she probably didn't even know what the word meant, you know, but he's right. really breaking it down. And that man has so much knowledge that I agree with a hundred percent of how he carried himself all the time. Sometimes certain situations, I felt like he could have kind of, you know, been a little bit smoother with some of them. It didn't even call for that, but you know, I get it. It was the internet entertainment, you know, and so on and so forth, but he was always, like a line as far as, you know, with his words and what he was saying, it made sense. You couldn't really refute what he was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um rest in peace to that man. And it's just so crazy that that he's dead and you know, it's just a sad, sad situation. But yeah, yeah, um definitely though. But like I said, man, he, he started this conversation and you know, he helped, you know, black men have this space, you know, yeah. to have these conversations. And like I said, we all we gotta do is support each other now and, and keep you know, it going. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, exactly, man. Right. So, you know, it's, his message going to live on regardless. So, I mean, he did the work. So now we just got to yeah. you know. Yeah, shout out to you, Life, man. Appreciate you calling in, man. No, nah, facts. Shout out to y'all brothers, too. Y'all keep doing that thing, holding it down for Brooklyn and all that. Y'all stay up. Sure. Appreciate that. Uh, we got a super chat from Bro Beef Wellington Ross. He said, you guys, Punk Book Lessons, Manosphere Highlights Daily, MTR. O'Shea, Dennis Spelling should all come together like the Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not opposed to that, man. Like, you know I mean, we all need to come together, man, and you know, yo, now that Kevin Samuel is gone, we 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 gotta come together, man, and, and build up what he started, man. That's it. Facts, facts, facts. We got we got what two more callers? Yeah, yeah we got two more, and then we all right, right. let's get to them real quick. Yo. Frank Zone, what's good? You on mute. You on mute, brody. Yeah, we're going to have to get him up out of here. Like, I know he... he oh, there oh, he is. Hey, what's up? What's up? Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, hi. Yo. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your background is kind of noisy, though. Y'all can hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, but your background is no. You got YouTube on. In the Let background? me cut my background off. All right, all right. Yeah, what about now? Y'all can hear me. Yeah, you good? You good? Okay, okay, man. Okay, okay. What's going on, man? Yeah, man. What's going on, man? What's good with you, man? We good? Man, it's all good. Uh, man, I actually just came on to y'all uh today, man. I, 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 I'm, I'm new to this, to y'all. What y'all got going? But it makes sense what y'all got going. I was uh looking at a tribute to Kevin. From uh Sim for the P. Yeah. I be, be tuning in to him and him and him and Kevin was actually good friends. A lot of folks yeah, don't know. Yeah, yeah. But uh yeah, uh anyway, man, I'll tell you what. Um I, I it's one of the callers y'all was talking to earlier, he was mentioning, like, man, now Kevin gone, what else? Mm -hmm. And what I say, I look at it like, you know, you got, I know Fresh and Fit was mentioned earlier. That's for the guys who want to be on their player mode. You know, get a lot of ladies. Okay, that's cool. You got a category of platforms that's designed for uh women trying to get on, get over on men. You got a category of platform of men trying to get over on women. But Kevin, he was tailored to real relationships. And like doing so in a manner where um getting down to the psychological development of like coming together and sticking together. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He didn't talk with a strong religious overtone. I appreciated that about him too. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, it was already understood that his platform was for people that enjoy premarital sex. That was understood. <laughs> but guess what, though? It, at least if you're going to be doing it, Kevin's whole point was like, man, get yourself emotionally, psychologically, physically, mentally in shape for marriage. Because you can't just have what you want if you're not prepared. So he was giving women the fatherly advice that they really needed. Yeah, you know? yeah that's a fact. As, as well as dudes too, though. Yeah. Was, look, he started with men. I was listening to him when my, my first introduction to Kevin, he was having to talk with men about maturity. That was like, I probably caught him on the tail end of his podcast. 
Uh, I caught him on the tail end when he was getting ready to shift to women. Mm -hmm. He was talking about maturity. And on his live chat, I asked the question because I, I thought it was an interesting subject. I'm like, okay, the, his view of maturity. Okay, like, that's interesting. So I posed the question because, you know, I'm I'm, pre I'm pretty big into the word. You know, I ain't just living as no Christian, but I know the word. I appreciate the wisdom from it, right? So mm -hmm. I said, uh, I said, okay, that's cool. I said, what about the Bible's view of maturity? And when I asked it on the live, he looked at it and paused for a minute and he respected it, but he said, I don't, I I, I try not to base mine off. He, he was basically keeping it real. Like I ain't really on trying to push spirituality, but yeah. I, I understand that though. And I respected that. Ever since then, yeah. I was told in to him because I'm like, okay, okay. I feel this. So, you know, like I said, that was my first introduction to him. But ever since then, my, my wife, she ain't here with me now. Uh, I've been on him, man. And like, I feel like if you're going to be out here in this world, not necessarily living by all the rules of the word, man, it's going to be one of two things you're going to be out here. You're going to be either, uh, you're going to be either a sheep or, or, or a wolf. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So Kevin, he ain't on there. one of them. He, he looking for unity. He ain't putting men against women. He ain't trying to, he ain't teach no uh, hate, hate against women. He didn't teach beating women. He didn't teach pimping women. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, even with all the hate that was coming up against him. But he did teach men, though, to, hey, y'all valuable, too. We honorable. Yeah. We should be uh, feeling dignified. We should be feeling respected at all times. Like the other guy, he said it meant a lot to him when he recognized, hey, man, we the prize. You know? And um, we all prizes. The woman the prize, too. Yeah, but but, but it's, it's, a, it's an equal exchange. But as long as we both value our role. Like they have a role to follow. We have a role to lead. Why should there be a problem? Should you know be a problem, man. But you know, I always say happy spouse, happy house. That's a fact, man. We've been, you know, it is we've been living by that motto, happy wife, happy life for far too long, man. And and it had made us realize that us as men, we had to sacrifice our happiness in order for a woman to be happy. And I feel like both parties should be happy, man. Like that's why yeah. I say. You know, happy house, happy spouse. Because when both people are happy, then the relationship is just better off. Man, it's too real. Happy house, happy spouse. This is actually my first time hearing that. I'm gonna make sure to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm a... Now, who came up with that expression? I like that one. I can. You know? I came up with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You come up with that? <laughs> yes, indeed. Like you know what I'm saying. I... <laughs> if that's the first, if that's your first time hearing it, then I came up with it. Like you know what I'm saying. Well, guess what? Again, I'm gonna give a shout out to you because I don't like using people lingo and not giving credit to us. I like that right there. But uh. But but that's real though, man. And like I say, I just I really appreciated what he did, man. When I found out the news, I ain't gonna even lie. Mm. Uh, it threw me off, but I want real surprise. And I ain't I ain't trying to get into all that extra stuff, you know, conspiracy. But I just say this here. Um, we know this ain't the first time, man. The black man got took out when he was at uh his prime. It's yeah. been going on, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, that's right, that's I, right, man. I, I will say this though, and I'm gonna just leave you with this thought here. Uh you know, at the end of the day, it's about us coming together and staying together. Mm -hmm. Who else really talking on that tone? Like for real, you know what I mean? And 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 and, and I feel like at the end of the day, uh, for the longest, it always been like what you said. You know, happy wife, happy life, everything. Listening to the woman, you know, catering to, you know, dear, what can I do for you? You know, but at the end of the day, you know, uh, you got men. We told to smile. Work, put up and shut up, don't cry, all this and that. And so that's a lot of weight on our shoulders. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And, and and therapy, he mentioned that a lot too in his podcast. And like, you got people killing themselves out here. They crashing mm -hmm. out because yeah. the weight of the world don't got too tough on them. So my the black women, and that's my message to them, if they tuned in right now, you know, uh man, we 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 crazy about y'all. Uh, the world crazy about y'all, you know what I mean? Uh, they the finest women on the earth for the most part, but I'll say this here though value submission that make you beautiful in the eyes of God, whether you believe in God or not, they make you beautiful. That's what really make you a woman. Mm -hmm. And I heard one guy, I don't know which one it was, somebody was saying he said a good point. He said, We got to separate the difference between females, the hyenas. 
and yeah. women. Yeah. Hey, cause, hey, cause get what y'all get what? This ain't no different than what we go through. Everybody ain't considered a man just because we can make a baby. Yeah, that's a fact though. That's a fact. I'm gonna hold so, you. You know, anyway, my like what y'all doing. I'm gonna stay tuned in. Yeah, uh, appreciate you calling in, man. Y'all right. keep doing your thing, man. All right, bro. Have a good night. Appreciate it. All right. Yeah, nah, that's a fact, man. Like, like I said, just the impact that he had, man. I just wanted wanted us to take this time out just to, you know, to show appreciation, man. Like, you know what I mean? Because he definitely helped out our community in ways that I'm not even sure he fully recognized like when he was alive or you know what I mean mm -hmm. so uh, we're gonna get to one one last caller I know you know we had a couple more people here but you know it's getting late you know what I mean I re respect your time so we got one more we gonna get to and then we're gonna end this and then get up out of here yo oh I wasn't even expecting it to be me first of all I want to shout y'all out <laughs> Yo, it'll be like that. You yeah, know, you, you already know. know. I'll be trying to read know. the chat like, yo, y'all next, but uh, I guess y'all be seeing it. Because I was sitting here, homie, he, he was saying some good stuff, but I was like, I'm about to jump Oh, because he's taking kind of, you know what I mean? <laughs> but anyway, um, first of all, I want to shout y'all out. I watch y'all podcast. I actually do reviews. I got a channel called God Level Reviews, and I reviewed a couple of y'all videos. Y'all do dope shit. I'm going to be brief. Uh, I'm from the Bronx, Bronx, New York. Okay, okay. So I'm from the okay. town. You already know. Um, you know how Charlemagne feel about the Bronx, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, yo, did y'all happen to see? Um, I forget this dude's name, it was some other dude, I forget this nigga name, but he was talking mad shit about the Bronx. He's a comedian, he's mad yeah. small, mad skinny. Uh, I forgot his name. He said, Every nigga, come to Texas, come to Texas. I shoot a nigga in the Bronx in Texas. I, I forget who he is. Oh, nah, like, but um, getting back to Kevin, like, it's to yeah. me, it's still surreal. Because he's kind of the reason why I'm in a manosphere and I kind of react to the videos that I react to and all of that. But um, it's still surreal, so I'm still processing it. I'm going to miss the live streams, yeah. the way he had the ability to, whatever they were saying, he was able to break down that lie and get it to... I remember I saw one episode where a chick was like, yo, I hate men. And he was like, why? She said, because my man left me, he cheated on me. At the end of the day, he found out that she actually cheated on him with his cousin Damn. and then like it was some crazy shit wow. so but you let yeah. her tell it like you niggas is the worst and like i, I like you, know, you know how i go you know how i play be we, we beat it but we we go into it. i was watching one of your shows earlier you was talking about we go into it guilty mm -hmm. that's, that's basically it like they they taking out Whatever Pookie we, we, we did. Like, we like Tory Lanez, guilty until proven. You innocent. already like, know. Like, so, like yeah. Pookie, whatever he did to you, you're going to take that shit out on me. So, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I ain't going to hold y'all too long. I got to get back to my edit. I just wanted to jump on. I saw y'all was recording. So I was like, I got to say what up to the bros. They from the appreciate town. Appreciate you. You know how I yeah, go. Yeah, we appreciate you, man. Like, you're, you're ready. Man, I, I understand how much work that editing is, man. As a content creator, man. That editing. Yeah, man. Bro, it's, it's, it's crazy. I love it, though. So you already know. <laughs> All right, All right bro. Bro. Thing, man. All right. Good night. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yo, this has been amazing. I think... I think Kevin Samuels will be proud of what we did here tonight. Mm -hmm. I mean, what everybody had to say about him. Um, we, we definitely going to try our best to bring forward the message and promote the black community and, yeah, just keep pushing what he was pushing, man. That's it. That's a fact, man. Like, so we're going to keep trying to put out more content. Yo, man, y'all don't know, but we're working on some new content, man. We got a lot of things in, in the background going mm -hmm. on, working with different content creators. Um, I know y'all, I don't know if y'all seen the last episode. Y'all need to go watch that last episode, man. But you know, mm -hmm. we, be there. We, we got some new studio setups going on, like you know what I mean. So, um, our next show that we got coming out, we got a show that's coming out that I'm really looking forward to. Um, and we're gonna, I'm gonna keep y'all posted on that. And, um, like I said, every every Friday, man, 7 a.m., we got a new episode dropping, and we got another live stream on this Sunday, I think, 8 30, probably same time, 8 30, um, Eastern time. And, um, you know, that's just a regular call and whatever y'all want to talk about, whatever y'all want to discuss, current events, yeah. um, you know, we're going to talk about everything. So if y'all not doing nothing, pull up to the live stream, you know, contribute yeah. some topics, man, so we can talk about it. Yeah. Yo, shout out to Beef Wellington Ross. You need to change your name, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. But he said Pink Book Lessons, God damn it. Uh, oh, yeah. He said Punk. Oh, yeah. It is Pink Book Lessons. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, but oh, yeah. yeah. Appreciate y'all, yeah. man, for tuning in. Make sure y'all like the if y'all ain't already like, I know the likes is kind of up there, man. Appreciate y'all. But if y'all right. haven't liked already, make sure y'all like on the way out. And uh, right. we're gonna see y'all. Yo, buddy. yo, love to anybody that tuned in, man. Somebody said Ace, you lit. Hell yeah, I'm lit. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie That's to the, you. The littest yo. uh green tea ever, like you know what I'm saying? Like yo, it's it's, it's real Jack Daniels, and this is not the Eli Jack Daniels, this is real Jack Daniels. Right, oh, no. right, we, right. we ain't get no promo, but that shit looking a little, that shit looking a little too light, man. What's going on? Huh? Word. Looking a little too right. light, man. What's going on? Come on, man. Green tea out the Arizona. I'm not <laughs> cheating, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, man. Yo, appreciate it. Everybody that tuned in and yo. Catch us on Monday. We back here, you heard? That's Sunday, Sunday. Oh, Sunday, my fault. Yeah, yeah. That's how late that nigga ace me. I'm lit. I'm lit. I'm lit. <laughs> <laughs>